So I I call my 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 or to bend in half or to bend in half my 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 Wow, uh, that is the combined genius of yesterday's papers, Incredible Channel, and of course the native talent, the innate ability of Rene Kerman. Together, uh, these uh, these uh, titans of creativity have joined. It's unbelievable what's happened, and uh, we're already hearing rumors that this may, in fact, be the A side of the uh, Kerman single. Uh, it's going to be released in due process. I mean, obviously this is going to happen. Uh, we got Jim record collector news. Uh, things are a lot is happening with the channel right now. You've joined us at a particularly uh, busy time. I am Rachel's ghost, your hostess. And it says here, the in group Phoenix, Arizona records and hi-fi. Uh, of course, Mike Espenzito proprietor owner manager Lovely wife, Angel, helping them out. And we're just so proud to have them as today's uh, sponsor for the program. Uh, I've heard the uh, Renee Kerman latest single is being classified as dark wave. <laughs> dark wave. It's a whole new genre. It's bent wave. <laughs> dark wave, bent wave. It's a thing. Uh, is the Truth or Movement also sponsored by the Ink Group? No. Uh, that is actually, now that's a big announcement. So today's title of the TV show is uh, Truth or Movement. We'll talk a little bit about that. I'll be appearing on another broadcast today, another channel. And I'm hoping as many of you can join me as is possible, but we'll see. Uh, also, we've got mall hopping. Another video we did. If, it wasn't, if the Kerman thing hadn't created enough uh, fire, enough fire in the belly for you. Uh, I just uh, created a, a, a video uh, exclusive to the Instagram format. I'm really attacking on all fronts right now. I'm kind of like Russia with the Ukraine situation. And uh, so what's happening is I've got, uh, I've got this video. I went to a mall and nobody had ever done this before. I, I, it surprised me that no one had ever decided to film themselves in a mall. I went there and actually filmed an actual live mall experience. And I'm excited. It's, it's, <laughs> it's gone viral. And it's very popular. Oh, yeah. Then there's this. We <laughs> Crazy little thing called love. Boom, 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 boom. That was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Matt Rob Walker karaoke is greater than 106, uh, which is greater than the Massey Mall walking. Did you go to Victoria's Secret? I should have. Uh, Rachel's Truther interview countdown. Is it over on the guy's channel? Over on the I gotta look there and see uh live. Let's see what yeah, interview with Rachel Williams. Yeah, there you go. Coming up. Wow. Oh, look at this. He interviewed Dr. Naomi Wolf. I can't believe that. 19 hours ago, he interviews Naomi Wolf. Holy crap. So I'm on the heels of Naomi Wolf. <laughs> wow. 
is this surreal? I got to tell you, folks, I'm going to get a link to the thing for you right now so you can catch me. It'll be, I believe it's at one o'clock my time. I'll confirm. I just want to make sure it's where him and I, he and I are on the, on the same page. Scheduled at 10 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to him. I'll make sure it's like maybe 10 o'clock today for all I know. That's okay. I don't care when he does it. I'll be available at 10 a.m. So it looks like it's going to be at 10 o'clock a.m. Okay. So anyway, uh, crazy. Uh, I've been watching a few of his shows. A lot of mentally ill people are featured. That's interesting. I haven't see, really seen anything. Naomi uh, Wolf, mind you. Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. Naomi, Naomi, let's call the whole thing up. It's Naomi Wolf. Do you know who she is, Sav? Have you ever heard of Naomi Wolf? Naomi Wolf was a, a mainstream feminist thinker in the 1980s. She was a very attractive young woman, a feminist, a doctor. Uh, I don't know what her field is per se, uh, but she was uh, you know, a leading feminist thinker. And she was on the, uh, you know, obviously in the opposite side of the spectrum for me in terms of, you know, ideology and, and et cetera. But uh, certain uh, things came down the pike um, that she has, uh, you know, allied herself with people like myself. So we, I find myself in 2024 more in agreement with Naomi Wolf than we've ever been before. Is Naomi related to our own beloved Wolfie? Possibly, possibly. Uh, Art goes, uh, Rach, it's uh, Rach and Sue. It's time to walk and watch. I guess there's a, Art's doing the right thing. He's getting exercise. I need to up my levels for sure. Um, so, wow, I'm going to have a little downtime about an hour, and then I guess I'm on the hot seat over there. So it's going to be 10 o'clock, Sue. Now, in other news, this, we're dealing, what is it? Uh, if it's Tuesday, it must be Belgium. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so um, this coming Sunday, we're going to go to Victoria. Uh, into Sydney, British Columbia, or the old stomping ground. Sue's got some horsey friends. So we're going to do an overnighter there. And uh, so we're going to broadcast the morning uh, before... Uh, so before we head out on Sunday, we'll uh, we will do a broadcast. But I'm not going to do a show on Monday. Monday I'm off the air. What? I don't feel like doing a show from my phone. Uh, it's just too much hassle, and it probably wouldn't be great. Maz, you'd yell at me. Yeah, we'll do Monday afternoon or something. We'll just bowl in there and just whatever the hell happens. Uh, but on maybe on a Monday later when we get back, right? Uh, so that's what's going to happen. Uh, you folks are great, but yeah, a lot's happening in the show. So I'm really looking forward to being on the Missing Link program this morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. So will we see horses? Yeah, we'll try and get a picture. I think it's just the gals getting together for it. Like, you know, the horsey gal team getting together for some fun. Uh, Mr. Londell writes, Naomi, Rebecca Wolf. Rebecca, I like that name, Rebecca. It was, it's a nice name. Born 62 is an American feminist author, journalist, and conspiracy theorist. Yeah, that's, you know what that is, Londell, the conspiracy theorist bullshit? She's not a conspiracy theorist at all. And, uh, it's, that's, that's how you blacklist somebody, you know? They've done it before with racism. You know, anything to dehumanize somebody, to delegitimize is what they do. Uh, I'd like to become a conspiracy theorist, too, or an online class right now. We know how to torture data. Holy smokes. Good morning, Rach Sue and the penis here is Johnny. Johnny L., uh, you've had some setbacks recently, obviously with the rising fame and acclaim of one Renee Kerman. He's gone viral with his newest uh, hit, uh, Orthophon bent in half ortho fun bent in half it's good and i gotta tell you man i have to salute the genius of uh, yesterday's papers he's like he's the guy behind the music he is absolutely amazing absolutely brilliant stuff 
Uh, uh, okay, now what's uh, what's going on with these guys? Uh, these right. Okay, uh, I wonder where the missing finds all his guests. He has like three shows a day. He he's just out there, you know, doing stuff. It was weird seeing your last name and post. Yeah, I don't I don't mind. That's who I am. Um, Rachel, I received Leon's LP. What a beautiful piece of work. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Leon Gullard. We've been promoting uh, Leon. He's due to email me this morning. He's been touring around. I think he's touring Spain, uh, Barcelona mostly. Anyway, uh, Comfort New Album. All this all embossed is just absolutely stunning. Uh, ambient piece of work, music. And folks, if you're joining us, that's what we are. We're all about the music here, but a lot of comedy, a lot of fun, a lot of interaction with me, your hostess, and the people in my peanut gallery, which is my beloved peanut gallery. You people make the show. And nowhere more than when you get the serendipitous uh, appearance of one Renee Kerman. Uh, okay, Rachel. Morning, Rachel. Today's show, I am bring my turntable to the stereo shop to get it fixed. And as this video makes money, well, I get my share. Yes, Renee, we're going to do a contact with you, uh, contract, so that, yeah, obviously you're the show, yeah, you know, it's going to happen. But you're going to have to share it with YP, Renee, remember that. Uh, uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, the Me, I'm Love, Trash, Talking Trolls. We have any kind of with videos. Wow, why would anybody watch your stuff? But anyway. And a shout out to Dave the Pickup Artist. All right, big Dave the Pickup Artist. Big shout out there. Okay, William. Well, that's nice. Uh, Renee, congratulations. Second hit shot is fantastic. Uh, before parts and live. Uh, what was it? I ordered the first boy on the moon LP yesterday. Super excited. You will enjoy this album. This is a very, very good album. Uh, David Pedrosia, first boy on the moon. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Renee is probably looking for an agent at this point. No multi-record deal, but some mention some newer VC podcasts. Next thing you know, he's gone full on merch. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. We see the rise of this young man's star. And it's only the natural course of things. It's only the natural course. So, folks, uh, welcome to the uh, daily live stream. We're here every day for a three-hour tour. And uh, today, particularly, it's going to be... Uh, pretty close to it because we're going to end at around nine o'clock in the morning my time pacific and then i got to go head over to uh uh to the missing link program and, and for my truther interview so it'd be a lot of fun you know you come off a show and i'm no stranger to these kind of things so it's all fairly perfunctory at this point but if you're interested in hearing more for my my nonsense certainly check it out and uh head on over there but yeah the uh from what i understand you can correct me on this i know you will for what i understand the whole idea that conspiracy theorists has dreamed of over the kennedy assassination uh you know the uh, uh the commission they had set up there and they were trying to uh you know how do you put it they're trying to uh delegitimize the findings of or you know the the actual thought that maybe something afoot was going on with the killing of the president and i think in 2024 i think most people feel that there's something that went on more so than anything they were able to come out with in 1965 you know when they were starting to or by you know circa 65 when they were starting to do the uh I forget the name of the thing. You people will know more than me. What was the name of the uh, commission? It was the W. Water something commission that looked at the Kennedy assassination. Oh, no, no, no. It's just uh, Lee Harvey out by himself doing his own thing. But, you know, I was suspicious. As soon as I was old enough to learn that Jack Ruby was a mafia-connected guy and that his defense was that out of some sort of misguided patriotism, he decided to... Yeah, Warren Commission. Thank you. The Warren Commission. Thank you, everybody. And uh, exactly. Who's the first dead? Mitch is the first with the Warren. So Warren Commission comes in. They look at things. It goes, no, there's no multiple. You know, do the head, do the fourth, do the back. 
the invisible loogie, the magic bullet. We know all the story. And so the conspiracy about this assassination of President John F. Kennedy is no longer really viewed upon by most thinking people as a, uh, oh, that's very kind of you, William. It's uh, no longer looked quite upon uh, being uh, the, so I can see your cup floating there. It's, 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 well, it's just a system. There could be a background <laughs> light in the foyer. Anyway, so, you know, obviously something went on there, right? And they are, and they're keeping it rest. There's a whole bunch of shit goes on nowadays in our world. And we're learning more about it. We're learning more about it. And so that's good. Uh, you know, transparency is the way forward. Uh, I'll be at the Truther Show for Flat Earth. I don't believe in a flat earth, you know. It doesn't make sense, flat earth. No, it doesn't make sense in any way, shape, or form. And as a child, you know, I was really interested in astronomy and the like. And so, you know, it fascinated me. I, I was always interested in the epistemological questions of the, and the how things are and, and the ontological, the whys, the, the whys, ontological crises, you know. Why is this? How is this? What, you know. And really the why questions are a thing because a lot of times science within the traditional format, uh, within the traditional confines or traditional def definition of it, is we, we explain how things work, but we don't know the whys behind it. Like, well, okay, how is how is this working? How is the Earth able to rotate? How is the Earth able to maintain a stable uh, orbit? And so we can answer those questions, but we don't. We don't, science doesn't extend itself into the why question. So I'll talk a little bit about this with the, uh, with this young man. The interrogatives are, they are absent. That's right, DJ. Smart, smart. Um, there was a reason, Mazzy, with Anne and Victoria's Secret. Well, folks, we got 96 people watching, and uh, I'm happy about that. Thank you, everybody. Uh, today's Tony's L, uh, LPs are us has achieved 457. Frickin' thousand four hundred fifty-seven thousand views, uh, VC, and you, Rachel, for the love and support, Tony. That is a, a great number. That's fantastic. Uh, Rachel, the JFK assassination was an American government cover-up. What do you think about that? I think you're right. That's what I think. Um, Always thought J. Edgar Hoover was behind it all. He hated the Kennedys, but we will never really know. Sands of time covers all. It doesn't really, though, because it's not that far ago. It's not that long, so long ago that we don't know, you know? And uh, so uh, flat earthers are like one big collective delusional mind. Yeah, there's problems, right? There are certain, there are problems with it. But... Um, you know, and misunderstandings is always there's misinterpretations of things people misinterpret like. But um, you know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot, a lot of information, and and the fact that social media things, and we have rules in Canada, we've got very uh, draconian laws coming into this country. I'm broadcasting from Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. For those that uh, are wanting to know where I am, and. Uh, you know, the government's doing a lot of initiatives. I mean, they aren't asking really us, the people, much for anything. You know, re representative government, representative government. But they don't seem to be representing us. They seem to be representing uh, whatever, you know, basis they have. Flat, flat earthers say the world is flat because the Bible says so. Well, the, they think the Bible says it's flat, uh, but the Bible doesn't say that. And any thinking scholar will tell you that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. And the same as, um, you know, like I just, like a whole bunch of nonsense that comes out of all that, uh, you know, because you're dealing with a book that was never intended to be viewed as a scientific text. The Bible is not that it's a guide for living is what it is. Uh, it's like Canada is taking guidance to social media policies. No, you know where we're, our guidance is coming from, the World Economic Forum uh, and the uh, Center for Disease Control, United Nations, all that's happening. 
I've been watching the uh, the ongoing conflict, the war in um, Russia with uh, the Ukraine. What a mess. What an absolute mess that is. Uh, why would intelligent design put a toxic waste zone and an amusement park together between my legs? Well, that's where we come in. That's where our humanity comes in, uh, doing different things. Yeah, it's a beautiful comment, though. Um, I was so glad that Trump represents us so well. Make the Beatles uh, uh, great again. Donald Trump, six Beatles, powerful. I think that the thing with Trump, everybody's, everybody, he's so magnified because he's taken a wrecking ball uh, to the corruption that is out there. He's wanting to. There's a, and it, the swamp is unbelievably wide and deep. The River Jordan's deep and wide. But so is uh, the corruption in our collective governments. This is the thing. People go, why is it that you as a Canadian have so much interest in American politics? Because my gang and your gang are the same gang. There's a club, and we're not in it, as uh, George Carlin once intoned. And he'd be right about that. Uh, Rach, uh, this is science. If the earth was curved, we'd all have curved soles on our shoes. Follow the evidence and do your own research, for Pete's sake. That's beautiful. Sorry, Rach, the fix is in again. Well, you know, the whole thing is, Jim, is that they do have, there are problems with these uh, these districts. And the, the evidence comes out there. And I watch this all the time over on the platform. They have people before testifying, oh, 350,000 illegal votes, you know. And it happened. And these people are testifying. There are committees and the like. But there is no will to do anything about it. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, that's an example of uh, going too far or just doing the wrong thing for political gain, for a political advantage. But this is the nature. Uh, Trump is fixing the corruption. He'd like to. He'd try to. Uh, Rachel, Robert Kennedy, why did he get assassinated and who did it? Well, there's theories on that too, right? They, I mean, the, the, the line was Sirhan, Sirhan, but even the Kennedy family apparently does not believe <laughs> Sirhan, Sirhan operate alone. And it's the same thing with uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, that was a thing. Uh, Chris goes, it's all complete bullshit, Rachel. Now, which part's bullshit? Like all bullshit or, you know, give me something to work with there. I watched that live with my mom. I was old enough, John F. Kennedy. I was five years old when Kennedy got killed November 22nd, 63. Bobby Kennedy in 68, I was 10 years old for. And so I have a, a much uh, more, a, a greater memory about that. What I remember about the Bobby Kennedy funeral, uh, all the fake committees and voter fraud crap. Well, no, they aren't fake committees. Uh, no, that's that's there's nothing fake about that. Uh, that that's verified and i think you're allowed to question we weren't allowed on youtube i'm not kidding you this is part of the problem that we have you weren't allowed to even talk about it on the um on youtube because youtube you know stringent policies right <clears throat> but uh now there's you know people have gone to jail for it already for voter fraud uh but, there's all sorts of stuff. 130,000 illegal votes in Nevada, not one prosecution. Um, watch Nevada State Senator says 100. This is a Nevada State Senator. Says 130,000 people voted illegally in the state. You know, and yeah, the source is Fox News. But I'll play it. I don't know if this will take it down. I better not play it. Just because, again, that's how bad it is. I can't even uh, do the thing. But what I can do is just show you, and uh, you get a sense that uh, what's happening here is indeed the video. Uh, voter fraud. Boom. I just put in the voter fraud here. Prosecutor said they didn't do it to me. Watch Nevada State Center, 130,000 voted illegally in the state. Jesse Benal, election in Nevada. This is uh, Fox News. So, you know, you can do it. You know, is it the messenger? Kill the messenger. Okay. So there you go. Jesse Bernal, uh, Nevada State Senator, 130,000 illegal votes. And uh, 
it wasn't re related or re relegated to just that one spot. Um, I'll never say ridiculous things. Uh, Republican state legislature never say ridiculous things that are complete fiction. Well, all he's doing is reading over the thing. I mean, if, is he lying? You know, do we lock him up too? Right? Do it. Where does it stop? You know. And so we, on my side of the political aisle, we see a great weaponization by our government using the institutions that formerly were established to protect ourselves. Right now in Canada, we have a pro, uh, reporter. He's a pain in the ass. He's an annoying uh, little character named David Menzies. He's a guy that they uh, charge with uh, assaulting a police officer. Have you seen that? That's another thing, David Menzies. He's now been arrested again for interviewing protesters at a uh, at a government thing. Let's uh, let's tune in on that. So the problem is, and of course, the locking of accounts. So this is a weaponized uh, weaponized kind of thing. Uh, oh yeah, a rebel news re journalist arrested by Toronto police while attempting to interview pro-Palestinian demonstrators protesting outside a liberal fundraiser so the guys on the hit list for these people um toronto police just arrested david menzies i'll show you the picture again present and regardless of what you think about uh rebel news i'm not necessarily a big fan of this organization um you know there there's a there's some issues there that i have with it but you know the story is a story they arrest the guy for asking questions He's on their hit list. Incredible reporter David Manson is arrested by police for confronting protests. Now the claim is because he refused to show them his ID, which is required in Canada. Footage clearly shows him rifling through his wallet. So they're going to sue. Uh, you know, the, the, everybody's going to get sued out of this thing. 51 Division, David Manson's jail outside. A reporter interviewing people on the street has been arrested. Uh, Stamina support David Mises in case that we almost win, yada, yada, yada. Never is now revenue suing Christian Freeland. So this guy's walking along, this guy, and this guy's a cop, and he walks in front of this guy, blocks his progress, and then says, you you assaulted me. Yeah. And they've got it all on camera, the bad thing for the police. So out of that's another incident. There's two incidents with this one reporter, and the other incident the guy stands, the cop stands in front of him, goes, you uh, you uh, uh, assaulted me. They arrest him right away. That Those charges have been dropped, but now they're getting their asses sued for their trouble. So um, uh, the name Rebel New, well, they are rebel against, I mean, yeah, they're against the establishment, right? Uh, okay, meanwhile, in the world of music, uh, Rachel Jasbum's record of the week is awful with Queasy. 70 vibe screechy saxophone. Way to good kill a good idea before it even gets off the ground. What would Fifi say? Well, Fifi's just a, 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 an ingenue. <laughs> Fifi, Fifi's there to learn at the feet of the jazz pumps. Hi, Reed, Sue, and hi, Angelo, me, I'm love. Um, Steve Park, interesting for people, will vote for a party that wants to keep them from being able to vote for whoever they want. Well, that's problematic. Uh, Rebel News full of uh, prime alpha male energy. It sure is. So, I mean, the, the problem is, is that we do have a situation where we're, uh, uh, people still use Twitter. I thought it was defunct, like MySpace, LiveJournal. That's yeah, apparently still going on. I, I like it quite a bit. And uh, uh, in the UK, is there freedom of speech in the UK? They can't even post the faith, origin, motivation, 9-11 hijackers online without risking jail. Yeah, there's a lot of problems in the UK, but this is why I'm saying, why so interested in America? Because you are us, me, I'm you. We have seen the enemy, and the enemy is us, right? Uh, Pogo, the famous Pogo line from the little cartoon. Uh, so this is uh, kind of the world we find ourselves in. I'm going to bring the producer up oh. to join to join us today, because she's like, what, the well, producer? I want to try my, yeah, and right. I want to... I got a new backdrop. Yeah, she got a new backdrop she wants to want throw to on y'all. Like. All right. So uh that well that's not what I want to do. I want to send an invite. Oops. All right, here we go. Anyway, so a lot of excitement. Now, a little later in the program, we got 109 watching. Uh once we get a few more in, 
I'll uh, I'll show you the uh, the incredible. It's going viral. I'm very proud of it. I did a what's called a mall video. Uh, Trudeau despises what he describes as quote your grandparents version of Canada. He does, however, miss the good old days of a singular government subsidized media narrative. Easier to sell his lies. It's problematic because uh, when you control media, when you're funding media, they and you put people in there that are loyal to the cause. Remember, there was a thing called Operation Mockingbird. Okay, now this is not a conspiracy. Operation uh, Mockingbird is a real deal. And the CIA planted their agents within media because they realized we could get our message out if we can control things that way. And so they did. And I would argue that it's still uh, part and parcel of uh, what they do. And uh, they're still there. Rachel, I liked your mall video. Johnny, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, so eating me there's a second. Uh, in Australia, Charles Doza was arrested for eating a meal. It was a succulent Chinese meal. I don't know anything about that. Here's uh, my much better half running the show. There you are. Now, that's pretty good. Move your camera just slightly a bit so we have, oh, yeah, you got okay. a sliver of light. There, we go. there you go. Now you got it. That is a thing of beauty. Applause As you better. are. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. How's your jo jazz odyssey going, producer? Your it's jazz odyssey? Great. No, I couldn't. Uh, we went to the mall yesterday. We, uh, as you well yeah, know. Yeah. Well, some know. Not everybody's seen the okay, video. We'll, we'll, gonna, show we'll, we'll show it. We'll play it. I peeked in the jazz for a minute, but I'm like, you know what? I just have more to listen to at home. I'm not going to look at these. I'm tempted to buy the jazz album with the cats on it because it's a nice cover. Because I like the cover. So I don't know anything about it. Okay. Which one do you like? It's what? blue yeah. and it's got cats on it. So I'm into blue it. with cats it's on it. Cats. Um, Loki, you, you're into cats and you're into jazz. Help us out. Blue cat video. Cat album cover. Cat album it cover. It looks really yeah. cool. And uh, yeah, but so that's on my hit list because I like the cover yeah. and I like to see a cool cover sitting there. So yeah, I yeah. admit it. Yeah. But I'd like the music to be great too. Um. Sava says, speaks for so many when he says, I think the vinyl community has reached the point of old age. We're going to the mall as a massive event. Well, it is. Okay, let's let's face that, Sava. I'm not here to, to hide that. No, we did because it rained constantly here. Uh, so we... What the fun? Bent in half. So what the fun? <laughs> we, so we hit the mall to get some exercise. Yeah, we were trying rain. to walk the mall for a little bit to get a little movement going. But, uh, a little crazy there. raging tomato a little later in today's proceedings uh 10 o'clock this morning apparently i thought it was later but apparently it's going to be 10 o'clock here you can go yeah, maybe uh, it's 10 o'clock uh 10 o'clock our time, time. The, no maybe our time. time no it's showing on my computer it's 10 my time okay uh so we're going to do it at that time here it is interview upcoming look at this i'm following right on the heels with dr naomi wolf naomi wolf is so interesting a figure because she's a feminist thinker. There with her and uh, another leading uh, thinker from the uh, '80s, very fast-minded uh, woman, uh, Camille Paglia. Camille Paglia, very interesting writer, and uh, Naomi Wolf here. So I'm so glad that uh, she was able to get on. Uh, I, th I forget his name. I've got him written in my book of words up here. My host today. I'll be joining him. Anyway, to be the uh, the interview that follows on the heels of Naomi Wolf, the missing link. Uh, okay, uh, Jesse. Jesse is our host. Jesse, good cowboy name that Jesse. Jesse, you get over here. Them pigs ain't going to feed themselves. <laughs> Them these pigs ain't going to feed themselves. Jesse. So anyway. Oh, uh, that's really good. Uh, so many times to have control on. I went to, this mo to the mall, and I scored Van Halen tickets for 20 bucks from Mike DeMond. He gets touchy if you call him a scalper. He performs his service, and the service costs money. I love that. Hey, how you doing, Chris? How you doing? 
Oh, you need 20? Okay, it's going to cost you 20. These are hot tickets. I can't hold on to them forever. Oh, my hands is burning. Uh, I can see how that might work. Uh, will you ask the peanuts be allowed to be peanuts on live stream? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. It's, it's a live stream. You guys can come watch the damn thing, you know, for anybody interested. Me am also, I love this comment. Me am also a leading thinker. Yes, yes. Still have to think of something of what I'm a leading thinker of. <laughs> you will, Angelo, you're doing so good. <laughs> Uh, Rach, I just bought myself a new jazz master guitar last weekend. Sadly, I'm still a jazz amateur at best. You're a good player. And, oh, I got speaking cool. of good players, I got a story. No, I put that there for you. To check My out. producer has just handed me this note. Angle it up. Arbutus Music, okay. Richard Layton. There's the number. Metro Drive over there. Uh so this store is like practically next door to us. It I mean, is next it's just door. it's like next door it's to us. It's across the street from the driveway to our park. It's like that. Uh -oh. It's like yeah. I think I uh oh you just doxed us. But that's okay. All right. <laughs> She's like that, ladies and gentlemen. She's a doxer. Anyway, the point anyway. is is that I go to this uh, record store, this music store, and uh he's a super good, uh super nice guy. I thought they were just giving lessons over there. It's a big sign that says lessons. I get in there, and it's like, it's fantastic. It's like a, a full-on music store. Started talking to the guy. Uh, the, one of the guys from 5440, the Canadian band, uh, 5440, lives here in Nanaimo now. Of course, Kim Cottrell, not Kim Cottrell, uh, the one I'm thinking, Kim, uh, you know, Deanna Crawl, Deanna Crawl, Diana Crawl, a friend with Pretty Green Vinyl Guy and Edwin is this his hometown. He knows everybody. This guy started talking to me about all the musicians that are here. A lot of musicians from around the world have come to Nanaimo, where I live, to retire. And it gets even weirder. The guy says there are a whole bunch of musicians in your in your little trailer park where you are. I'm like, what? It's true. So it was really cool. And he showed me all the gear. He had a 1952 uh, Gibson Les Paul in the shop uh, that was selling for 35,000, mm -hmm. 350,000, no, 35,000 35, Canadian. That seems low. I think it was more. I think it was more. The, no, the one hanging up was 35,000. Well, because then, then there was this other one that was 33 or yeah, it, it had a whole bunch of stuff going, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, in the trailer park, it was just crazy. Uh, Rachel, uh, Sarah, so have you tried giving Rachel a trim recently? Why do I need a trim, you see? No. I don't know. Don't care much about it. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, I want you doing my thing over there. I want you doing your thing over there. Uh, man, we started a brand, man. I got a cowbell. That's how it starts. He also knew, um, he know this guy knows so many people. He's so connected. He's a connected guy. He, he knows played. everybody. He's a musician too. Yeah, he's but a musician. He probably knows yeah. him and yeah. knows what he's done. Yeah. But uh, he's played with tons of people. Got to do a shout on Rob Walker. What did you think of a particular crazy little thing called Love uh, Performance? Oh, it was brilliant. And where did that occur? That occurred in the UK. Well, it occurred okay. somewhere a, in a, somewhere in an undisclosed location in, undisclosed in Manchester. In Manchester, yeah. Bloody hell. Um, Rob, it was amazing. You were so brilliant. good. Like, there, you got pipes. I, in some ways, I think he's Rob's better than Freddie. Voice. In some ways, better than Freddie Mercury. In it's some ways. Uh, maybe it's because of, like, Freddie would uh, perform more. And for Rob, it just seemed to come naturally. He just... One, well, you hand, know what I was one hand in pocket, just kind of standing there going. Well, you know what I was impressed by with him? Yeah, it was good. You know what I was impressed by? What were you impressed by, producer? Uh oh, I lost my. Uh, uh oh. That's okay. Um, yes, go ahead. He was so relaxed. I he mean, was very like relaxed. He was born to that. He was born to entertain. He's an entertain. entertainer. Yeah, he has. I mean, the man knows. In a very English, he, he a professional. Better than Freddie absolutely now at any rate 
I'm a I, musician. I don't know any what Sean Shea. <laughs> You're fantastic. I like how Rob just had that little twinkle inside the whole time. Like he's like. He's just doing it and he doesn't care if people are bumping into him, yeah. passing by, doing the thing. The Scousers, were there Scousers there? There's no Scousers allowed then, in Manchester. Oh, They've okay. actually got a bylaw. Okay. That's well, Scousers are running. from uh, Liverpool, right? Yeah. The Liverpoolians got 124 watching. This is the point in the show where I beg you to give me a thumbs up for the TV show. I'll watch my own show to help it out. Holy smokes. Um, I really do want to commend the genius, the sheer freaking genius of yesterday's papers. The guy has so much talent. It's unbelievable. And uh, I, for one, appreciate his efforts, man. He is... Uh, he has something else. So um, very, very grateful to him. That's all right. I do appreciate it. So, folks, thanks for a thumbs up. We try and get at least 50 to start the day. And then as the show progresses, it goes there. Uh, move on. I'm working my way towards 6,000 subscribers. Elvis Cup guy, who's a, a friend of the channel, he dressed by, usually promote himself. I don't mind that, right? You promote yourself. You got a wrench there. You got a YouTube channel. Use it, promote it, make it happen. I was number two in the likes category. Thank you, Bill. Uh, four thumbs down. We'll take all four of them. Louis, we haven't even got started yet. And he's and Louis is on fire. I kid, I kid. He's going, I kid, I kid. Um, I gave a thumbs up to Sue's hairdo. Thank you. That's a, That alone is, would be good. All right. Well, let's get into it. 125 watching. I went over and I um, I went to the mall yesterday and I filmed it. I'd like to see it. <coughs> 52 last ball. Would you play? I'd play it. I like how the middle-aged ladies were laughing at us yesterday. Were they? Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Well, we stopped. To, well, we after we did it, we stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Rich had to find the closest seat because we were laughing so hard. Yes. So we sat down at this little bar area in the food court. Yeah. And we were laughing so hard and the ladies were walking by just cracking up. Well, this is incredible. Uh, let's share this at the mall. Here's the mall in question. Okay, let's go back. Uh, and then we got to go. The mall. I can't believe it. Now, one of the things that's uh, really great is you can get incredible rides here at the mall. This is fantastic. And uh, you can rent one of these things right around. Sue's demonstrating now. Just fantastic. Uh, let's take a look around. Uh, okay, so uh, Tommy Guns, Tommy Guns, so you can get your hair done here. Fantastic. Uh, gosh, this is a new thing in uh, the vinyl community. Exciting mall tours. Now, I'm going to turn around. Here's the train. Uh, we can take the train. Fantastic. I just love the mall experience and uh, just all the ways that uh, we embrace our mall experience. Look at this. We're coming up on what's called the food court. Let's hurry, quickly. <laughs> Let's look. It's the food court, everyone. There it is, the food court. Look at this. Look at that, wow. Food court, wow. Okay, well, let's rush in and, and eat something now. Hi, we're here at the mall. I can't believe it. Now, one of the right. <laughs> I said laughing as it was. <laughs> that wasn't acting. That was really true. Like, I, I cracked up. I go, <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do We're here at so the cool. mall. And then, as soon as I said, because the whole thing was so stupid, uh, taking <laughs> my lips to the next level. It is, yeah, fan, everything was fantastic. <laughs> I'm watching this thing. I said, geez. What do you think of that? I think it was fantastic. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, Angela Kelly with dire uh, prognostication. All these vault, mall videos. Bob, we've only had two of them. <laughs> all these mall videos that make me nostalgic for the 90s. I was hoping for a mall, a mall video. Food court. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> it's just, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid. But that is pretty funny. 
Uh, okay. Uh, the mall community is, in fact, quite uh, quite a bit larger than the vinyl community because there's more to choose from, greater variety. I think it's a good move, Rachel and Sue. Thank you. Everyone, <laughs> everyone <laughs> needs to do a mall video. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, the one where he referenced reference to H and M as uh, Chaim and Moshe, <laughs> Chaim and Moshe. Hot dogs and more. There are at the food court. Uh, okay, food courts are almost always the home of the best pizza place ever. Sparrow. Uh, we went from a year ago from having a mall in the OBC. Now we're here's where we find ourselves. Ah, uh, boy, uh, Rach, you could get uh, Rid Stein of the video, the Rick Stein, I think the guy's name is uh, Stein, he does comedy. Uh, you forgot about Dees eating a hamburger during a power outage at a mall. There was that. That was one of the first. Uh, a piece of vinyl in the house. Welcome to the show. Uh, I need to bail on the riveting mall video talk and go feed the pig. Okay. We'll come back after that. We'll still be give, talking give about Winnie it. A, give Winnie a pat for us. Yeah. Whatever happened to Orange Julius? Orange Julius is still going there? strong There's up here. There. Yeah, we got it up here. We got There's one at there. the local mall. Uh, okay, Chris from Record Talk. This is his top five. He's becoming a bit of a ranker. Even more, And his ranking, dare I say, is as equally obscure as anything else. Uh, I'm just covered in mall videos up to my... I've just had it. He's had it too much. And poor Bob is making me all nostalgic. Now, yeah. we've tried to have Bob on the show before because, you know, we love Bob. He's funny. And, you know, he's an actual colonel in Kentucky. A lot of people yeah. don't know that. Mm -hmm. And uh, But his his feed for live streams isn't always great oh. it's, I, for whatever reason. He does, great... Bob Bradley does not have That's a great how... feed. So sometimes you come on. Yeah, and but Bob's like a pro. Video Bob's guy. a pro on everything else. But not apparently for that, you know, and he's a musician. He's great. Uh, some of the balls, uh, they really dehumanize those hot dogs on a stick, girls. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, yeah, these mall videos are taking off like crazy. Uh, Rob Walker, I got to go. I'm glad you enjoyed my karaoke. It was put a smile on people's faces. It sure did, Rob. And you did a good job. You have a nice voice, a strong voice, I would add. Uh, the malls, muy mal, muy mal, very bad, very bad. I bath in Papa. Holy smokes. Um, oh, oh wow, Gigi Allen, uh, the poo poo singer. Uh, number six was uh, for a retired elderly re professional Trump rally attendee. Holy smokes. Uh, they created a Mall of America in Johannesburg, Africa, South Africa. It's a bit of a lemon. And Bob Bradley appears to be at the mall right now. You know, this Orange Julius is delicious. So he's enjoying it even as he speaks. Here, I'll just make myself big. Whoop, that's so big. There, make me big. Please send all your spare records. Those eight. Like the guy doesn't have enough records. He's got a huge record collection. Now, so what's the next? What's the next big thing? Are we waiting for anything? I just got my Alice Cooper Billion Dollar Babies out. That was the last kind of big album that I was wanting to get in the collection. It's arrived. It's there. And my I'm latest. At, uh, some AC, AC. I was looking at ACDC. I really was, wasn't I? You know what's great about my backdrop? Yeah. I can still. You can still fridge. function the fridge functionally. Yeah. Despite the fact that there's a professional. Kite in there for showbiz. Yeah. Anyway, this Monday, uh, I'll be coming on later in the day on some Monday. And also keep in mind, later this morning, I'll be on uh, the channel with the kid. Uh, my heritage got smart match, my hair's DNA only. I don't want that. Delete. Okay, good. Everything's going good. I uh, reached the first Al Scooper is the best one. Zappa released it without understanding it. Yeah, it's kind of a psych piece. It's not my favorite. Uh, Alice Cooper, Pretty's for You, followed up by Easy Action, Love It to Death, came out next. Uh, then uh, School's Out, Killer, 
and then uh, billion dollar babies. So, but you know, it's what it was a time. It was what was happening, man. Uh, next video trend will be visiting quartz quarries. That'd be interesting. So uh, I'm back now. Oh, okay. I'll bring you. Uh, or I'll, I'll minimize, minimize myself. Uh, Rachel, can Rob Walker come on the show and show his cat Claire? It's uh, Curtis. <laughs> Piece of vinyl, the Rocco, American Beauty. This is, of course, uh, Grateful Dead. The Cars. Is it the Cars debut? Arrived today at my place, VMP. Buy me, please. Blue Note, box pre order. Three sincere, sincerely, yours comes out March 21. Brain Story Break Crown Records shortly after that arriving. So Rocco's got it all going. Candio. I like Candio, and my favorite song on that is Dangerous Type. Last song, Side B, Candio. Uh, Candio, the song is is great, too. But Dangerous Type, just it's a great little riff. Um, Rick Ocasek's guitar playing on that kind of makes that rock, uh, doing the uh, rhythm guitar on that. Uh, Angelo, uh, Rob's cat is a boy. Uh, Claire is a girl's name, like Musette. That's pretty good how they... Loki's able to help Angelo with that. They met, you know. They know each other in real life. Now. <laughs> Loki, you know, an they, intergalactic superstar have celebrity. They, have they been the same since? I think their relationship's going pretty good. Uh, Loki Tio Beggy is also a girl's name. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> I did not hey, know Beggy. that. Hey, Beggy. How you doing, baby? <laughs> baby. Baby. Beggy. Beggy is gender neutral. Beggy, gender neutral. I can't keep up with you young people. Uh, okay, Bronco Billy's in the house. Bronco Billy is really good with the uh, Wikipedia. He's helped me before get things squared away. Morning, Cup of Joe here with the. Uh, this is a bear. This is how Indians see a bear when you're on mushrooms. <laughs> this is what bears bears look like. You're in the jungle there, the forest. I guess. I guess we don't have a jungle. We got a forest. Mmm. Me, I'm love. That's good coffee. Good coffee. It's a lot of cords here. Yeah, we got a lot of cords. Just... Okay, now what's the question? I got to do some wet receiver. I've got a Marantz. Uh, what PM? Uh, they call it a Marantz PM six zero zero six from around twenty seventeen vintage. And I've got a, a preamp, a phono pre stage, phono stage uh, by Budgie. And it's a, a twin tube, little budgie. There's two couple of room tours I've done where I've done, got the thing going. Don't make fun of mushrooms, says Rob. Rach, can you make a big booper? Brother? Oh, baby, you know what I like. Chantilly Lee's got a pretty face, a ponytail, a coming down, a wiggle and a walk and a giggle and a talk. She make my world go round, round, round. There ain't nothing in this world like a big eye girl. Make me act so funny. Make me spend my money. Make me feel real loose like a long neck goose. I love a girl. Oh, baby, that's what I want. Come on, man. Rock and roll. I think you're going red in the face. You use the budgie. Well, I'm very elderly. I've got, you know, me and Anthony with our bad hearts. <laughs> oh, the budgie. We need to chat about this. My friend boss at works loves it and swears by it. Well, of course, Rocco. Rocco, you're allowed to come on TV show. You've been on before. You're a pretty big deal. Think about piece of vinyl. This is Rocco. He, mm -hmm. the, if, are you subscribed to Rocco? You should be. He does professional videos. He I is so. like VU Meters, or because VU Meters is a new kid on the block, VU Meters is like Rocco. Both guys do the professional presentation. Rocco's got a big channel, and it, there's no sign of it slowing down. He'd come on, but he's busy at work supporting the economy. All right, here we go. Speaking of people supporting the economy, you know, welfare programs are important. A lot of people find part-time employment courtesy of the social services available to various municipalities. Welcome to the show, Rob. You're a welfare hire. Yeah, you're hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I'm thinking about yeah. sending Renee to your house so you could take a dump on your front porch. <laughs> uh, Holy smokes, a boy bomb. We've I had those before. Hey, um, 
Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think I'm one of the first people to get this record, Rachel. I made oh, a, really? a, a little right, video. Got about it. News. This is the uh, oh yes, um, the net, the second record that Kevin Gray put out on his uh, coherent if record. Only oh. you could do a video and do a short review of it on your channel. Just a short review, a quick <laughs> look at Hack and so. Well, if I feel like if you label a video a quick review, people are more likely to watch it instead of one of your long, drawn out, yes. nonsense filled videos. Yes. yes. Hack and sack what and would you I also, I also considered doing a review from a mall, but because it's all the rage. Yes, it's catching on like crazy. And this I, is very good. This is really good. You know, it was serendipitous that I started the thing up as we approached the food court. I'm not sure if that entered my mind. No, I, I think it did. I think oh, I okay. saw the food court, and I think it triggered something in me. Well, you and, now, sure surprised me. And I had to go with it, yeah. Now, Rachel, what? And I know it's in an American food court, which typically yeah. isn't in a Canadian food court. Well, you can see it on the film. We got a subway there. There was a KFC in there. There was some... Uh, we got A and W's in there. Two like Japanese noodle kind of places. Two Japanese noodle uh, places. the same places. Sushi, and walk sushi and talk. Place. And then there's a place called Chai Chi or Chai Chi. Tai Chi, chi Chi. And that's more like health food. Yes. Um, sandwiches, sandwiches and the like. Very yeah. expensive sandwiches, like, you know, $15. Um, Joseph, go watch my review. I'd say if you like Kenny Burrell, you would like this record. Yeah, That's Wolfie. Uh, I don't tell everybody watch and follow me on Twitter, <laughs> the platform for me, but you need to follow me on the X platform. You will enjoy my X platform, uh, my ability to communicate. Oh my Dairy God, Queen. that's good. No, there's no Dairy Queen at. Uh... Uh, Dairy Queen, no Dairy Queen in this mall. We have a lot of DQs in uh, any, in any poutine places. Uh, not no, here, no. We do have, have uh, New, New York, York fries. New York fries. New York fries. It's called in other malls, but a franchise mall, called New York food fries. Food court is very lame, really. Well, what's the best food court, and who's got yeah. our best food court? I don't know, but not. Well, you know, well, food courts are lame, but there's a mall here in Southern California. Yeah, that's in a very Asian area. And all the places in the food court are, yeah. Some some are chains from Asia, like there's um, a famous uh, Japanese cheesecake place. Mm, so oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, those are available. We went to a pizzeria too the other day, which is very good, <gasps> oh handmade pizza, like the real deal, right? This pizza, okay, we go in there because it's. We thought, oh, we'll just check it out because we want. Yeah, we'd never been. It's nearby. We wear gluten. Gluten doesn't seem to affect me, Jose. I don't think it's a. When you when you go in there, did you hear? Bump by the 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 in uh, France, it's or in New France, Quebec. Okay, hold on here. It's still with uh -oh. It's like Daddy Boggs on screen. Yes, indeed. So good. Daddy Bog moment there for the producer. What? What did I do? <clears throat> well, it's like you're not really up to date on the technology. Like Rob and I, because I, of our I years of experience. Phone. Uh -oh. I well, I did move it at yeah. first. Okay. I tilted there. Isn't that good enough for you guys? Rachel, you need to go to Windsor, Canada. They got good, good pizza. We got good pizza all over Canada. Okay. But we, unfortunately, we discovered this place. Yeah. Anyway, so but it was one really pizza good. pizza was 28 bucks. Yeah. Plus tax. Right? Yeah. That yeah. one pizza. It would be about, yeah, it was 28 bucks or something. But at least it was fantastic. It was a large medium. It was their it was medium large, that it was large. Yeah, yeah. but it was large. We ate it all. <laughs> oh yeah, we got well. There's two we sushi. Food. There's two sushi outlets in the thing, and we got a lot of strip malls oh, like everybody else. Place. Yeah, Opa Greek or Opa Greek or whatever. Opa. Opa Greek. Yeah. But uh, it's really interesting. It's so funny. One of the things that you know, some of the worst defenders or the worst haters out there of Boral Rachel's goats. Is you know they go we're going to get you I got to get you fired and all this, 
And it's just not, I'm, I'm retired, so there's not much they can do. You know, I'm kind of, you know, unassailable. On hey, uh, what, why don't you just stick to trying to get records put in the Library of Congress, Rev? Okay, well, let's, let's okay, hold on. Let's, do, let's take this on. Folks, right now, and I mean right now, there is a petition circulating, okay? Changed out our selection of the soundtrack Ice Castles in the Library of Congress. And it's being sponsored by Golf Professional. The album yeah. in question is Ice Castles. Well, hold on, hold on. Yes. It just occurs to me. Yes. The Rev's look right there is like he got the call from his lawyer that the feds are after him for embezzlement <laughs> and he's on the run. Oh. And that that's the only outfit because the APB went out and what he regularly wears, yeah. like that velvet jumpsuit. Oh, and then... hold on now, the Reverend Rock and Roller. Don't hey, be mean. By the way, Rachel, look look at me. I'm covered by the re Oh, there you go. So oh. and then he had to dip into uh, like a convenience store, and that's all yeah. they had. He had to change his look, and he ran on the run. Well, you know, the other thing, and I, and I love the rest so much, but I I will say this. You know those pictures of D.B. Cooper? D.B. Cooper? If you look, and you had a few years, I think we, they may have found D.B. Cooper, Cooper eventually. I'll show you the famous D.B. Cooper picture. You tell me, Vinyl Community. Uh, okay, here's the one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, we're present. Now here, you just keep that picture of the Rev. Okay, what do you think? I see. Add a few years, okay? Oh, Add a few years, D.B. Cooper. I see that there is a potential. Is he a, who is he? A CIA It's D.B. Cooper. Rob, teach, Cooper? Him, teach Sue about no, D.B. Uh, Rachel, Rachel, I think you have that disorder, disorder called face blindness. <laughs> I agree. Uh, <laughs> I, listen. It, he look like a man. You kids he don't know. Like yeah, that was from Matt TV. But I'm going to tell you something. Over the years, people age, Robbie. Like when I was, did you see me? I have like a double chin in my uh, mom video. It's at the end of it. It's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's so incredible. Uh, Bob Bradley, uh -huh. uh, full disclosure, I see more of a Magnum PI, a young Tom Selleck. <laughs> Tom Selleck, incredible. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dabney Coleman, Dabney Coleman, great actor. We don't hear a lot yeah, about him. More like a Dabney days. Coleman. Definitely. Dabney Coleman. Yeah, Dabney. No. Dabney and Dabney eyes Dabney. on. I love this. The uh, young people are able to work the emojis, and they frequently will take advantage of this one here, known as eyes on. I am looking. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. There is that. Okay. Okay. I agree. Okay. I have to go. Correct, Bob Bradley. Bradley. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Rob, you got yourself a record. I saw the Instagram post. I got the thumbnail notification about the quick video uh, <laughs> review of Hack and Saw. Uh, okay. Oh, here, this is for you. This is a. Can you read this with one of your patented uh, accents, Rob? This would be good. Pat's radio, I think, and get good to answer. Got Very to, good. Got, got the new. Got, got to know. New, you can get That's great well. poutine. I was born in Montreal, but back in the oh, day, wow. poutine wasn't a thing. That's right. And you know why it wasn't? Because it's cheese curds. Ew. I could look. Cheese and curds with French gravy. And gravy. Yeah. Got well, so, Rachel, if you were to discard poutine, what would you say is like the national dish of Canada? Canada, for us, I, I, I believe it's the venerable pancake rub for breakfast. No. Yes, yeah, so the pancake is a venerable. Oh, well, hold on. Let's, let me help you out. Like, All right. US of A. It's, yes. a, it's like a hot dog, probably. Yeah, ballpark Frank. <laughs> so, Canada, <laughs> you can't tell me. You can't tell me it's a, just a pancake. I've never... I've, well, that's I've, our breakfast. We have three meals a day, three squares. No, three? but just like... The, three squares. We uh, maybe, a piece of, maybe a piece of apple pie. No. Okay. 
to American. No. To American. American's apple pie. Yeah. Now, for boom, hot dog. I Look at this. Canada has she loves ever. hot dog. I like hot dogs. Well, too. You, you, uh, hold on, Raging Tomato. You just dug your own grave today with that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. She wants you to do it in a sexy voice, Rob. Do what? Well, okay. I've got a full disclosure. Sarah and I are cycling our periods today, so we're we're just it's just where we're get it's just a cycling of right, a girl. Rachel, are you our sure life. you're not? Hold on, are you yeah, not? Are you yeah. sure you're not cycling your menopause or what? I've got it. I'm uh, going with that elk burger. Elk elk burger for Canada. Elk burger. Never. Bison never. Burgers. Bull. Never. Um, back bacon. Let's yes, I, yeah, I'm, I'm more with the back bacon problem. Okay, yeah. back bacon is so uh, stereotypical. Cook? Just a plate of back No, bacon? eggs. You have your eggs. So this is a breakfast thing. Canada yeah, juice. Canada <laughs> case. Uh, hold on. Hold on right there. Can you okay. highlight Raging Tomatoes comment? Right here, ketchup. Anyone who puts ketchup on a hot dog mm. needs to rethink their lifestyle choices. Okay, I don't well, mind a little. About I have a little. No, no, no. Yeah, I put may, a little ketchup on, but no, I. Like I don't want to know you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from oh, you. What? What is the tomatoes not kosher? What's I the problem? No, there? you can put tomato, no ketchup on hot dogs, mustard. Yeah, I do put. I put both on. Can you have both? No. No ketchup. Oh, that is restrictive uh, policy. I um, pretty much hate ketchup. I actually cried over ketchup once. Really? Well, I, we never went to restaurants growing up. Uh oh. Went to a restaurant. Never went to a restaurant. Old brother took me to a restaurant. This is, sounds like the, you were now. You were born in 1932, Dust Bowl. And, <laughs> of course, the restaurants oh, no, were. No, beyond, Rachel, the peanut, the peanut gallery is speaking. Uh oh. The peanut gallery is speaking. Hey, Rob, go ahead. Take this on. You might have to do a poll. Catch up on a hot dog? Yes or no? Okay. Wow. I think you're right, Rob. I think He's called that. it, Rob. That is, this is why. We need this guy on TV show. I mean, you can go crazy like those Chicago dogs where they put all that stuff on there. I do like that. But there is no ketchup. There's tomato. Yes. No ketchup. Okay, I have to tell my ketchup story. Okay, well, I got to do a, a poll. Do While you tell ketchup, I'll do the poll. Okay, so I decide I'm going to order French fries because people eat those. And I'm like, I'm a kid, right? So I get my nice plate of fries and they're all golden and toasty looking. And I'm so excited. And my brother, he's like, you got to put some ketchup on that. you got to put ketchup on that. And I'm like, no, no, don't put ketchup. No, look at, they're perfect. And he goes, oh, you've got to put ketchup on it. And uh, he goes, ha, ha, then he thinks this is kind of funny. So he puts ketchup on, but he actually covers them so there's no fries showing anymore on there. And what I cried. Okay. I literally cried. Now, so now at I this point. I burst part... out crying. I'm right so fortunate that you even allowed to have ketchup in the fridge then. No, we were at a restaurant. Yeah, but we have it. Oh, Ketchup's sorry. a part of it. It's a <laughs> condiment. Hold on. The good people of the peanut carry, like one of the nicest guys is uh yes, Bobby. No. Well, Bob well look at that. Read this <laughs> and read it in a way that Bobby, I love this. Uh, listen, that the, all the drugs you've been taking for five hundred yeah. years, Bobby, He's is Affecting your taste buds, it, yeah. it's kind of dead in them. Uh -oh. Look at this girl's comment. Okay, vinyl picker's okay. good guy. Oh, look at this! There you go. And he lives in the town that has the quintessential hot dog with the Chicago the the um poppy they seed bun, the, the hot the peppers, the, wow. the the long pickle spear, the the neon green. Look, I'll even take the neon green relish. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, we've good. had problems, Sue, and I, full disclosure, in our marriage, there's been some degree of tension uh, <laughs> because I, Rob, have a real pre uh, predilection towards the venerable hot dog. Mm -hmm. Sue, on the other hand, says they're filled with bacteria, and also if you don't cook no. them, you will get well, tapers on, in your brain. Rachel, if you go into yeah. your uh, nonsense websites that you seem to pick up all this stuff, yeah, stuff. Whitehouse.org. In listen, in an industrial hot dog factory, you don't know what's dropping into that shit. There could okay, be they've talked about the matter from rats. And, feckle matter, but the point but is, you get a good old, get a good old kosher hot dog from 
one of them from a good slaughterhouse no no i mean like well i mean either you're up for that or not but like uh hebrew national and sabbats and vienna b from chicago all those places they have some flowing in rob uh oh lisa goes too late she's (laughs) down four of them she's down (laughs) four of them hey hold on Uh, have you ever been in a hot dog eating contest i have really yeah. Rob, I don't. I never picture you doing this sort of activity. So you got involved. How did now you get involved with it was that? Uh, Rachel, it was at a halftime for um, a basketball game, and there were chili dogs. Have oh, you ever had a good chili basketball. dog? Yes. Here in the now, here in SoCal, chili dogs are where it's at. Now okay. we know what happened to the kidney. Oh. You oh, blew your can't. kidney out in an in an uh, oh, in an uh, 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 so the yeah. crap I've eaten over my life, there was more than just a hot dog. It was more than just that. Okay, I love this. Yesterday's papers, I cannot tell you. I want to brag on this guy. I want to scream his name to the rooftops. Yesterday's papers work with Renee Kerman on the latest is a work of sheer unmitigated genius. Rob, the, the whole thing, the video, the the presentation of it, Unmedicated, pure genius. I just love hey, this. Uh, yeah, yesterday papers. You're from like Egypt, right? Or no, Spain? Isn't he Spanish? Uh, he is originally, uh, but he's in England now. Let's no, go I for, understand. let's play it in really high res right here. Right, look, that might be speaking the pineapple thing. They put pineapple. I call my my my, my 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 my. Or to fall, bend in half. 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 Hello? 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 Are you here? Hello? A work of genius, <laughs> Rachel. Yes, forget it. Forget about doing a GoFundMe to get him a new uh, stylus or cart. Yes. Can we do a GoFundMe to send a Renee to space? Uh, like B says, <laughs> yeah. Yes. It, it, you know, see, you're quite right. It did lag a bit. And as I have so many windows open in order to run a program of this uh, to, of this nature, so many windows, multimedia have to be open that the drain on those systems are unbelievable. This is not simple at home computing. This is, in fact, the TV show. And because of that, the demands on the system can be absolutely phenomenal beyond your normal kin uh, to comprehend. Me and Renee are waiting for a call from Coachella. That would be incredible to see you there. I love uh, Rob's guitar. Holy smokes. Wee, wee, wee. Rob, your guitar solo during that was so good. Well, you know, I played the imaginary guitar. Well, it's air guitar, and you're good at it. Uh, yesterday, I should do the teaser video for next year's Ghosties Awards. It's ominous. like, And then when those ships come in, oh. the timing on that and the music, the mood changes. I love Elliot's bit so much. This is like, oh, Elliot at the okay, end we- is like a wise, and he's like the watcher. A Go cosmic back, yeah. being yeah. who's overseeing it all and manipulating, like, uh, put these things, put these things. 
it's like, oh my God. Uh, Randall goes to rip off, it's all too much, the Beatles. Stop it, it is nothing like that. It's a creative thing. <laughs> Renee and YB work days, between, if not minutes on this thing. Between that and the mall yeah. thing, we were laughing all day, like seriously. Wow. Pretty much. Uh, Vilification Scrabble has arrived. Admitted, Bill K, you've been waiting to time me out for 86,000 seconds. And can you imagine 86,000 hey, seconds of hey, a time? Uh, hey, hold on, Ron. Hold on. Pumping vinyl, billium. Yes. What's it like to be in a part of a stream that has more than uh, five viewers? Let me know in the comments below. He may not be able to answer that. Uh, admitted, Rob, you will put any condiment imaginable on your hot dogs. You love hot dogs. We all love hot dogs. Well, okay. um, yeah, you know. We love hot dogs. Uh, Rob, can you answer this? Uh, this is a great comment from Raging Tomato. Um, well, they're an award that Sue and Rachel concocted uh, to celebrate. Uh, to ce uh, what? Angelo uh, Kelly on an idea. Well, well, it was his idea, but you concocted the whole thing. Yes, we had to put it together from a vision. Right, but um, to celebrate the pe penis gallery. I mean, the peanut gallery. Yeah. <laughs> well... The the ghosties. If you for a quick uh, look at the ghosties, I'll just get it here for you to see, and then I'll give you a link to it, uh, and you can watch just a few minutes of it, and you'll understand what the ghosties are all they about. They were a glamorous, very. They were a social event that uh, was a social event, event of the year. Of the year. And uh, they <laughs> are our version of the Oscars. Uh, Rachel, you've left me up on screen. Okay, well myself. I'm. I know. Hang oh, on. Sorry, Rob. Sorry, Rob. Up there? Okay. Well, hanging here. Sorry, sorry, Rob. <laughs> uh, let's make you smaller. There we go. Here is a link to the ghosties. So, Sarah, on your own recognizance, you can check that out. And uh, we had help from professionals. Yes, indeed. And it was quite the event. It was a star studded affair. And one of my favorite things is, wow, I come out and I do the it, monologue oh. and I go, oh, yeah, Rob, go ahead. Rachel, I just realized something that we do not communicate at all before the yeah. show. Okay, go ahead. Oh, 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 oh I just saw Today's that. show is being brought to you by uh, the Groove of Arizona. Damn, yeah, the, only place you, the only place you can get this. Go order it before he sells out. All right. Get order now while supplies last. Yeah. Record looks a little. Uh, uh, okay, so. Um, I would like to say yes. It took a village. It took a village took to a make village our thing. To make our, our ghosties. Ghosties. We had a lot of help. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um. Anyway, yeah. I just it, a lot of happening. Rob, eleven o'clock. No, ten o'clock. Sorry, ten o'clock our time. Your time, my time. Mikasa to casa. You're probably going to be busy, but I'm telling you, Rob, something exciting is happening. Your best friend in the whole world, me, is <laughs> going to be interviewed uh, by uh, the Missing Link program. I'm following hot on the heels of uh, the wonderful Naomi Wolf. Naomi Wolf. This is incredible. Now, Naomi Wolf, she would be on all the old talk shows. She was on the Dinah Shore. Mm -hmm. Uh, she was even on the Tony Field show, which is uh, Rachel, always, Rachel, hold on. Yeah. Rachel, can I do my the top five things I think will be discussed? Top five things to be discussed on the Missing Link program interview with Rachel. Go ahead there, Rob. Uh Tim Foil hats. Tim Foil hats, correct. Black helicopters. Has to be. Subterranean reptile people. Subterranean reptile crab, but don't overlook. This is something a lot of people do. They're cloud castles. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Chemtrails. Yes. Um, <clears throat> goes without saying. Yeah. And then why do packaged chips suddenly have less in them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know, the other one that's got me absolutely bamboozled. It's the chocolate bars I love so much as a child have suddenly become so very tiny and very much more expensive at the same time. It is a mystery. What have they done with all the missing chocolate? <laughs> Hi, Caesar. Love you. 
So I want a sausage link. How about a link sausage? See what I've done there, Rob? I turned it around. Uh, Naomi Wolf lost her weight. She's good, man. Uh, she's a feminist thinker. And uh, she's right hey, on wait, wait. I, Didn't oh. she write... The female... I mean, wasn't, it wasn't her... <laughs> Do I remember that she was like part of spewing her thing was she was sexually assaulted or something? Am I wrong about her? Possibly. A lot of girls. Where is she gone? Where she she used to write a lot of popular books. Where is she gone now? She's still popular booking it. Is she gone off the deep end and started going into nonsense? No. Uh, Uh oh. Uh-oh. Well, it doesn't matter. My views are um, better than I'm, yours. I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is uh, probably either Arnie Zanzibar Arnie. or Billiam, the well, vinyl yeah. humper. Um, yeah. But go watch, go watch my views. Hold on, Rachel. Wouldn't you say it's quite unusual to have the, the small amount of subs I have? But yet my videos have a lot of views. Your so. videos get huge views. Yeah. Huge. Uh, I'm okay with it. It's all about the views. Not about the the best videos. I've already no crossed the threshold. If I, I'm not monetized. If I was monetized, I'm already past the threshold to do that. So I'm getting the views. Billiam. I am woman. Hear me conspire. Stop it. She's not a conspiracy theorist. And let's face fact. You know why they labeled her that? Because she came out against uh, some of the medical treatments that were going during a certain... Uh, a disease affliction that hit the world. And uh, oh, listen, that, uh, more and more information about that's coming out all the time. It's very, very interesting. So we, ju- we just sit back, we look, and we just see what's going on. And Rob makes good content. For fuck's sake, these trolls are like a bad dream. Rob well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're like a nightmare. A bad hey, dream. Look, I call look, that a nightmare. Let, let's go to the big channels. Okay. Some channels have tons of subs, but yet the views don't match how many subs they the have. are not reflective of no. their actual subscriber count. Yeah, you know, maybe Billiam, stop making content about how the world has butt hurt you and yeah. just try and do other stuff. Maybe people will find the content okay, well, you make appealing. Okay, let's talk about our friend William. I love William. He's a good boy. He's got He's got challenges, okay? But He's got one thing in his corner, a good manager. Raging Tomato is here. And uh, I think the problem started for William when he was put in what's technically called in the manosphere called the friend zone. William was uh, unceremoniously dumped in the friend zone. Mm -hmm. And at that point, his testicles shriveled to the point where they're even smaller than what I had before I had to discharge mine unceremoniously. Uh, the buck starts here. William only makes butthurt content. Salmon pastrami. Okay, the salmon pastrami. This is attention from the panel pastrami. Let's go to Rob, our, uh, our kosher expert. Well, uh, technically, yes. is it, hold on. Is it lox? Yeah, that's it's, it's lox. It's and cured, so it is a, a type. Yeah. It's called lox. You yeah. should know that as a good Jewish boy. Yes, and I think he does. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, Rob, your channel voice is actually what's called perfect a- asymmetric. Here, here. Can, I some more, 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 Can I do more. ASMR for, for Barack Billy right now, Rachel? I'd like to see it. Okay. Listen to that. It's like a human heartbeat. <laughs> extremely uh, calming extremely calming Bronco Billy that was really good uh, pumpkin vinyl reminds me of Richard Keel remember Richard Keel of course the great Hold actor on, don't, 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 don't tarnish Richard Keel's memory by associating him <laughs> with pumpkin vinyl oh, oh. come on that was really good but okay. locks and pastrami even what? Locks and pastrami. Locks and, and a bagel. You put your bagel, yeah, you get your locks. Locks, locks yeah. is the same thing they do to meat to make a pastrami. Well, I know, I know, but the taste, I don't know. The flavoring. I wouldn't try it. I, I'm a, I, listen, that's, like I'm locks. a Jewish, 
I, I call it Jewish soul food. Give me matzo ball soup. Oh, like that. like that's okay, Frank, you son of a bitch. This is going too far. And Rob, don't be too encouraged by this. Well, what, they're not in flyover states. They're in a whole country that slathers ketchup on hot dogs. Okay, now listen. Uh, I got good news on the uh, gifting front, the VCLT. Get this, Rob. Last year, I made it my mission to get the 2014 box set. Now, the prices on the 24 uh, box set, are you paying like uh, $2,000 for this? $1,800 is not out of the question. USD, United States dollar. I'm telling you, kids, uh, they are all, they're beyond my ability. Thanks in large measure to Jason Rojas. Remember him? He was a good friend to Rob on the program. Also to George Borden, live streamer, YouTube personality. Why are you thanking them? Well, they gifted me part of my collection. They are worthy of the honor. Oh, hold, on, of hold on, Rachel. Yes. I have a box ready to go with stuff for you, but I've gifted you records. No, I'm talking about the Beatles in mono. Okay? Well, who cares about that shit? Well, no, but Rob, hear me out. Hear me out. So what's happened is that, Frank, I've just heard from Sticker Man, and I know a lot of you have been watching, following this story closely. <laughs> Wondering if it'll ever happen for Rachel. Well, it is. I'm getting the Beatles book that goes with the box set. So I've got all the records in mono, the complete set now, completed, complete with the book now, Rob. The only thing I'm missing is the actual white box that says the Beatles in mono. I need to get a box with the Beatles in mono. Is anyone selling just a box on uh, I'm Discord? I'm hoping somebody is selling just a box. You know, if here's, you see one of these out there, buy it for me. Here's my recommendation to you, Rachel. What happened? Go to the listing of Discogs and leave a comment saying I'm looking for the box only. Okay. There's no poll. Okay, the poll has been ixnayed by the powers that be. Let's mm. try that poll. No, it is. It's going. Here it is. Uh, today's question, ketchup on a hot dog. Uh, yes, 47%. Oh, wait. No, Rob, you're going to be pleased with this number. 53%. This is, about, is very close. Please. Um, I'm, how many people have taken the poll, Rachel? Um, uh, let's take a look. 92 votes. It's not letting me vote. Well, well man. I've got to get in there. Over half of you I'm very disappointed in. Oh, I can't vote because this is your account. Oh, you're on my account. All right. Well, ketchup on a hot dog. Yes, 47. No, 53 as it stands, as it currently stands. So, I mean, this is one of those things. Margin of error. And, of course, we got our statistician, statistician uh, with us here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is interesting. Life, love, and records. Lox and fish, salmon, lox is a fish. Uh, this is a Jewish thing, right? It's a kosher meal. It's a very popular kosher well, meal. No, not, not necessarily, Rachel. A lot, of our, skin, a, lot, right? a lot of our Scandinavian friends have a yeah. form of lox. They like the smoked fish. Yes. And we have smoked salmon in our neck of the woods because of our indigenous population. Very I well like known for that. I salmon with yes. a bit of a sweetness to it. It's maple. It's accounts going good. We just have to accept what is. Okay? We're not stopping the voting where I can come in at midnight and redo it. Loot fish. I don't like loot fish. I am against loot fish. They live under the huts of the no. Taiwanese. No, Rachel. That's that's the dried out fish that they reconstitute. Isn't it supposed to be petri like the smell of it is? It's nobody wants that. I think basa fish is the stuff underneath the uh, huts, the hut fish, the under the hut dwellers. I love this. New York City dirt water dog carts, they don't stock ketchup. You are done. You don't even get ketchup with those. It's not even an option. You know what? If uh, if I had to label Billiam a condiment, he is ketchup. What well, is that? That's how you feel about our beloved William. He's a big um, public ketchup. Putrid, Rachel says Bill is putrid. Can I? No, you cannot unless it's going to be for in favor of ketchup on your hot dog. Corn dogs. That's a whole different animal. 
Lisa. Corn dogs is a whole corn different dogs thing. Are good. Corn dogs are good. Well, it's the Nordic way, according to Joel. It's the Nordic way. Man, we cover a lot of ground on this program. Mm -hmm. Now, doesn't anyone else want a link? Doesn't anybody else want to come out to play? Well, well, well not, put them on chopped liver. Rob, chop liver. <laughs> no. Rob is no, a great a, guest. Look, we are having a gay old time. Yes. We don't need yeah. anyone else to come up. No. But if anybody else if wants If you want, to, there's a link. You can come and join us. Rocco, I wanted to get Rocco. But Rocco's busy working and stuff, so he can't do it. Yeah, I heard at 2 a.m. there's going to be a huge vote dump. No catchable game, 13,000. Yes, it could happen. Fingers crossed. Rob, can you have chopped liver with ketchup? I'll tell you one thing about liver. I, I don't. I like am it. not a chop. I'm not a chop liver person. Don't I like the chop liver. liver. I don't like it chop. I don't like liver in any shape or form, right. except my That's own in my body functioning. But the uh, but the point is, is that liver I I do not like. However, kidney on the other end is a very sweet, soft meat. And I love my sweet meats. Uh, they are absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Rob, when do, you, when do you eat sweet meats? Sweet meats. I like this. My <laughs> we go to the, yeah, I, for them. You go to the deli and you the go kidney is so it's so delicate. Sweet, can I get the sweet? Yeah, I'd like to have the two hundred grams right. of the sweet. Do you meat. like the head? Do you like the head cheese, Rachel? Oh, gross. Head cheese is a beautiful thing. Isn't that, is that like a cow testicle? It's no, actually, Trish, Trish, hold on, Trish, you're half right. Mazzy's <laughs> lost at the mall. Uh -oh. Look out. what's happened to Rich. Uh oh, <laughs> this is a bridge too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. The British people do eat some weird shit, don't they? They do. Hey, well. Well, remember in England now, this was something sausage. I wanted to try. A black sausage. Is blood yeah, pudding. Called, blood blood pudding. pudding. Don't like blood pudding. But here's the other thing I don't like is, uh, well, no, I love. And this is wrong. I, no, I love. I totally love. It's an English breakfast. It involves a kipper, Rob. I, I actually place this here. I, go, the, I do like the English breakfast. Yeah. It's good. Uh, any love for pickled pig toes uh, uh, there, uh, Rob? Uh, not a fan. Oh. I oh. can't eat anything that looks anatomy, anatomy. Anatomically, anatomically correct. Anatomically correct. Yes. What about a haggis? The sheep's stomach haggis is loaded bad. with so much goodness that you can't believe it. I like haggis. Massive, well, Rachel, like there, there is um, Scrapple. Have you ever had Scrapple? Look, we finally got a good guest coming on, Rob. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to come up here. Everyone's favorite VC weenie. Yes. Now, yeah, and of course, you're a big part of the Joe Mayo success story, uh, Paul. Mm, it is what it is. With your appearances there as a well-known Monkees fan. And That's true. Dare I say, even a Beatles fan of some regard. Have been all my life. Yes. Paul, what's happening with the jukebox from hell? Glad you asked me that. So we just got we just got done uh, doing the Fleetwood Mac Time album, and so now next episode will be uh, Angels' Bad Publicity from 1979. But would you like to see, oh God, would you like to see a future episode for this season? I'll yeah. give you guys a sneak preview. You okay. guys are going to roll your eyes. There you go. Sneak peek. Danny, buddy. <laughs> Rob, look, look what Paul's got. Look. Well, I, I, have to, right. I have that little Ricky guy from the show. Have you got a little Ricky? If you put all those records together, can you imagine all the fun? You'd have a complete Partridge family ensemble collection. Well, if you, follow, if you do, hold on. If you follow Danny Balducci on social media, he likes, to go into, he likes to go into record stores and find some sort of Partridge family related record and yeah. autograph it. His That's right. Family. Yeah. I think and you know, Rachel, yeah. you know, Jim, record collector news. I know him well. Yeah, they uh, grew up together. What? Oh, wow. Jim has never shared this story. No, well, he was, I think, a little older, friends with He's the brother. He's much older than Danny. Danny's and like my age. Knew, knew him. Well, Jim's not that much older than you, Rachel. Let me let me look at Bonatucci. I think he's 59 or something. Bon, uh, no, no. 
Well, he Jim is older. He was, I think, more friends with the brother, the older brother. Yeah, but yeah. He was, see, Danny's a year younger than me. Danny's born August 13, 1959. Danny Bonaduce. So I have a personal Bonaduce memory here for you, okay? So for a few years in the 90s, uh, Bonaduce was a DJ over in Chicago, uh, over at WLUP AM 1000. And uh, he was a talk, he was like, a, I don't know, he did a lot of talk more than music or anything, but it was pretty entertaining. It would come on right after Kevin Matthews and Jonathan Brandmeier, two other big ones uh, that were there too. And Danny, when he got signed to the loop, he uh, he went off as a publicity stunt and said, you know what? I love this station so much. I'm going to tattoo their logo on my ass cheek. And would you believe that's exactly what he did? And it's supposedly still there. I don't want to see it. <laughs> well, no, that is crazy. Still, in it, and they're saying it never really left anywhere. It's still available to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i heard he's oh. not doing good though i hope that's wrong okay what's the story morning glory tell me the story why is danny not well well i don't know i don't know i mean i just know that the last picture i saw of him he had to walk with a cane something like happened within like a month or two okay and, and nobody's really talking i'm like uh oh hopefully it's nothing too too serious okay bon well, I'm going to look at him. Up. Okay. okay. Danny, by the mystery illness affected speech and his walking. That's like a stroke. Uh oh. That's uh, this is from June 27. This is 2022. So this is a oh, while. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Bonaduce gives health update following brain surgery June 8th, 2023. Oh, oh my. Uh, Danny Bonaduce gave a hilarious health update following brain surgery. Hilarious? I yeah, that's what it says. I lived, bitch. Former child star Danny Bonaduce said he's grateful to be alive as he told fans about a horrifying health condition that saw him lose his ability to speak. Danny Bonaduce is grateful to be alive after undergoing what's called brain surgery. Uh, he gave his fans a hilarious update. I live, bitch, the family, Partridge family star, then at the time of this, uh, 63 years young, June 7th, 2023. It's been a long day, but I just want to let you guys know that Danny's surgery went according to plan. He's doing quite well, uh, his wife tweeted. So, Danny, wherever you are, I know you watch the program. Danny, as one <laughs> radio personality to another, Please be well. Heal. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, Rachel. <laughs> Even when he was a little kid, he talked like this. Okay, hold on. Listen, Lori, if you don't take oh. your clothes off, so my friend can be naked. Yes, he was a tough guy. He had that uh, Reuben Kincaid all tied up into uh, hold on. Listen, Keith, I had the first Chris murdered. <laughs> we always wonder oh, what happened to that one. Okay, uh, we got an update, Paul. How are things going in the family with your baby and everything? Hey, th thanks for asking. So yesterday, my son went off and uh, and texted me a beautiful picture of uh, my 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 other granddaughter, Adeline, holding Charlotte. Uh, she's still at St. Louis for at least another week for observation, okay. but she looks so cute. Everything's everything's moving up, guys. Thanks for the prayers. And yeah, uh, Pick, we want to appreciate our friend Pick. This is a guy, but his cat's a girl. Hey, Rachel and panel. Paul, I was, isn't that thoughtful of Pick to bring that question up? Because yeah. sometimes on the show, I try to stay clear as best we can because it can be very sad. And you just, you know, we want to kind of keep things up to the extent we're able. Well, some people don't want to. But you have to do it. If it's personal. Yeah, yeah. and it's personal. So, but that is fantastic people, news. We try to kind of let people bring it up themselves. If yes. They want to. Uh, Joel speaks for so many ways, sis, in terms of the Partridge Family, Rob, Danny was fired on the Partridge Family show. Did you have a favorite Partridge Family member yourself, Rob? Perhaps yeah. David, young David with the no, post. No, no, no. Susan, uh, Day, in her, Susan okay. Day in her prime yes. was 
hot. sublime. Hot, Winter. very hot. Very hot lady, young, Beautiful lady. feminine, attractive. Very pretty, yeah. Uh, Susan I'm Day, my least favorite. The L.A. Law, Susan Day, not so much. L.A. Law, Susan Day, some of the, the bloom had come off the rose by that <laughs> time, Rob. Mitchell, Susan, Susie's uh, ghost here. She's off to take a look at Susan Day, uh, just to see how she appeared on L.A. Law. Wasn't Susan Day in some movie with William Cat? Uh, before before he was greatest American hero, and yeah. she ended up topless or something in that movie. I thought I heard everybody will look at. Wasn't she on L.A. Law with the one jazz guy, Jimmy Smith? Hey, yeah. Rachel, do you, don't you remember the episode? The episode uh, that, where she, the episode where she got braces and heard the radio in her mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, and then she was very. Yeah. Remember, she'd cover up her Harry braces. Hamlin. Harry Hamlin. Hamlin. You know, Rob, I've often said to my audience, when Rob Walker comes on, he brings with him, and Rob the Wax would agree with me, when Robert Rob Walker, he has a Harry Hamlin appeal, and it, it may be the hair, it may be the hair that, that generates that kind of energy. Oh, oh, Rachel, I saw both David Cassidy and Danny performing at Kitchener, Ontario. Well, Renee, that's where you live in Kitchener, Ontario, Renee. You are very fortunate because we don't have David with us anymore. If those that are not aware, we lost David Cassidy a couple of years ago, I believe. Uh, Paul, do you recall where you were when you heard the news? Nope. No, I don't. Okay, Rob, uh, do you recall where you were the uh, the day the music died, they call it, uh, when David... <laughs> Do we know exact. Can we pull up what exact date that was? Oh, yes. It David was Cassidy. a day that will live in infamy. Oh boy. The day the music died. He died on November twenty first, twenty seventeen. Oh my gosh! It seems like yesterday. It. You seemed... know what I was going here, uh, Rachel. Actually, I remember yeah. what happened that day. Uh oh. I hope I hope they make turkey for Thanksgiving. That's probably what was going through my mind. All right. Um, um, hold, on, hold, hold, hold on. Hold uh on. -oh. Support me or not? Tons of free downloads on Bandcamp. Um, why would we support you? you? You don't support the rest of us. You seem okay. to come here and cause trouble. But that's just my opinion. Okay. Let's ask well, anybody to do what he thinks. Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes that can be quite hurtful. Uh, okay, you have me up. Oh, okay, Rice Maddox Jr., fantastic. Was Gary Shandling gay? Question for Rob. Gary, you're I, I mean, you're I've met him. I met him once, and I thought he was a very nice person. But um, I don't know. that. I, he was a single dude, so maybe. Audrey, it's a hard question right away to have you on. It's I hate to throw you into the furnace, but was Gary Shandling gay? What What do your sources tell you? Who the hell is Gary Shandling? <laughs> what? Yeah, hold on, uh, hold on. Hold on. This is he's okay. a little young. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who that is. Oh no! It's, Are you um, going to tell me who that Larry, is, Larry? Larry. Well, he had a popular show, but that was probably before your time, Larry Sanders. Yes, everything was before his but time. But he was a stand-up comedian who achieved fame. Cool. Paul, your memories of Gary Shandling also gone too soon. We lost him. You know, I remember. I still remember the Gary Shandling show, which I think was on Fox. That's even way no, before Larry it was Sanders. Like showtime, Showtime, Showtime. Okay. okay, that's where I saw it. But yeah, I even remember that stuff. That one, that was funny, and uh, and Larry Sanders, hey now, and all that other fun. And of course, for the uh, boom, for the non boomers, the uh, in um, what was it, uh, Iron Man or the Avengers movie where he played a senator? You know, Rachel, I watch, I here's I my story. With me. Here's my Gary Shandling story. All right, we were good. testing that movie, What Planet Are You From? That was directed yeah. by Mike Nichols. Yes. They course. were, they Former hated comedian, him. ends up doing The Graduate, 
right, right. A legend they, in Hollywood. Muscle they hated each other's guts, so my job was to keep Gary Shanling away from Mike Nichols. Separate oh, them. Geez. Don't ever let them meet. Yeah. So how how were you able to accomplish that? Would you see Shandling, for example, coming no, we in? Were in a, a, we were together in a room together. That's all. Oh, okay. So you just had to occupy him. Hey, look at this. You want to see a card trick? You yeah. had to come up with a number of things to amuse the celebrity. And then when we were called back for some other reason, I would escort him back into the situation. Right. Keeping a, a very safe distance from director Mike Nichols at all times. Yes. Um. Poetry and Plastic, you're a, a musician of some renown, some note, pardon the pun. And your instrument is, of course, the clarinet. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, I, I play I play a clarinet that, that has been uh, been starved for a few years. Um, it's, on the, it's on the Cato diet. There is a lot of uh, hardware on top of that stick of wood, isn't there? Mm -hmm. All government oh. issued. Okay, and tell the kids what you got in your mouth and why it's in your mouth. It's an oboe. Really, are we are we doing oboe show and tell now? Is that what's happening? I tell you what we need with your oboe is there's a new hit record out called My My My, and then in brackets it's uh, it's known as uh, Orthophon bent in half. Orthophon hey, uh, bent in half. Hey, Michael, Wait, so, did Rachel, you did your did your cartridge break? Not mine, Michael. My cartridge is fine, but young Rene Kerman lost his cartridge in a horrible uh, incident. Uh, that involved a bent styli. Rest hey, in Michael, peace, Michael. Right, Michael, dude. did you get the records I sent you? Or no? uh, they're probably in my mailbox. I'm on tour in Kansas right now. Oh, congratulations. Rob, Thank I you. have yes. a theory about Richard Simmons. I believe Richard may, in fact, have become trans, such as myself, and has decided to undergo the, the procedures in order to become a full woman. Um, he is, he's, she perhaps, is absolutely gone from the public eye, no longer seen. Do you feel that my theory as to what's actually going on there could be accurate? And that there could be a reveal, a gender reveal, so to speak? Did you, did you speak English anywhere in that uh, barrage of words? Okay, hey. listen. There's something going on with Richard Simmons. I'm very suspect of it. I'm very suspect. I thought I heard he's dying. That's what I just heard, like, recently. What? I've never met him. Never That's what him. I thought I heard. But why, But here's another question, though. It's, you brought this up, sort of. Sort of. Uh, okay, Rachel. So yeah. let's say, for example, that Richard does go through the procedure. What would the female equivalent of the of Richard be? Okay. That's I don't good. know. Well, I mean, that sometimes Ricarda, remember we got Ricarda on the TV show, come and watch our show, Ricarda. So that's he could like become Renee. a Ricarda. It could be a Renee. Mm -hmm. uh, Joey is here to tell us Richard Simmons is still alive. Hold on. Zeb's oh, trying to cause trouble oh, right now. Yeah. Okay, Rob, this is for you. Deal with I'm so sorry uh, for this. Hey, you, yeah, Zeb, so you know what you're like if a bear shits in the woods scenario. It doesn't matter. My word's bigger than yours around here. So if I, okay. I, I don't know what you're trying to say. You yammer on so much nonsense in the peanut gallery that people just don't pay attention to it, except I do. Wow. wow. And I can say... Hey, there's Matthew Petty. That dude's an excellent dude. There it is. You don't do shit like that. You just post links to nonsense. Okay, this has been building up for a while. Sue, have you heard about this? Um, is, it, is this just the stream where we speculate on who's trans? Like, is that what? Well, this is? it's not just about that. We've had a very busy uh, show. It's been a very detailed program covering a lot of territory. We walked the mall. We showed some great mall footage. There's a new hit single by Renee Kerman in yesterday's papers that is sweeping the nation. Young people are playing it wherever they go. It's quite, it's impressive by every measure. So would you call this episode basically a transmission? Transmission of mercy. I love the oh, way no. you're doing that. Well, no, hey, it's you know, Paul, 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 I would say that was a horrible pun. But Zeb's here to take up all my my attention when it comes to nonsense. Okay. Well, wait, I was I was born a horrible pun, so I'm allowed. 
All right, here we go, Paul. This is for you to read. I can confirm with 100% certainty that Richard is not dying. Tom Etsy told, told EW, oh, Entertainment Weekly, okay. He's, in fact, very healthy and happy. The sole purpose of the post was meant to be inspirational. Well, good. I'm glad I'm glad he is, is fine. I don't know if anybody has gone off and seen. I don't understand why he's so mad about Pauly Shore doing that little eight or nine minute clip as Richard Simmons. I thought he did a really good job. I think it, was a mis- it was probably a misunderstanding. Hey, Reb, uh, Rachel, can we go back to the not said Zeb's on right now? Well, first I have a comment. I got to get going for work, guys. Have a great day, okay? And thanks for having me on. I love you guys. We love you, Paul. There's Paul. Hey, oh, there's Paul. hey okay. Zeb, Zeb, oh, Zeb oh. just called me a narcissist. You're the one who patted yourself on the shoulder for giving okay. people shout outs, not me. Not Let's not send this young lad to the rice paddies. <laughs> Michael, can you read this comment? This is a great comment from our friend Procat. Walking the mall is fun. <laughs> Thank you. And it sure is. I walked the mall. We walked the mall. It was incredible. There's so many. Do you guys, do you guys like show up early before the stores open and you have those little, those like the, the Reeboks that light up on the bottom? Those are fantastic. You know, and I didn't want to share this publicly, oh. but I'm going to. I have the little wheels on mine, so I, and people oh, yeah, don't Heelys. know how I can move. I I can, do they still move. make those? Can you still buy Heelys? I I'm talking out of my ass. I have no Rachel, idea. Rachel, Uh-oh. I think your mind is on your next interview. Uh-oh. There I, we Prague, go. Were you referring to prostitution in malls? <laughs> oh, fucking, holy <laughs> fuck! Okay, look here. This is Sam with a counterattacking comment. Well, Zeb, people don't come here to watch you or listen to you or talk about you. They come here about uh, me. Either if they hate me or they like me. Sue, producer, can you read this? This is something for Renee and why be not here and celebrate. I uh, just heard the new Renee single on B96 Hip Radio in Chicago. It's going nationwide. It is so good. I am telling you. Uh Okay, I, it has Rob, you are in trouble again. This is a hundred percent not true, Zeb. You come here all the time posting links and shit. Give me a break. Yeah, hey ho, zippity do da on you. Uh, okay, uh, Rach, did you carry the tiny weights and also have? Oh, sorry, Rob, I'm making sure. Rach, did you carry the little weights and also have the Velcro leg weights for your mom? I, I need to incorporate these health aids. Physic, physical training aids into my regimen. No, we just walk from one rest area to the other. To another. And then, and then we ate and a lot. <laughs> Boy, that that uh, tempura, uh, the sushi dish it known as tempura. I, I liked it. Oh, well, it there's was four sweet. More pieces there. It really? I'll heavy. eat them. Um, yeah, it was too heavy. I love Brad Teal when he speaks out uh, for so many. The Nanaimo ball looked like a, what's called a shithole. Oh, oh. Actually, it's quite a nice Two mall. word response. It's, it's, a nice it's a nice mall, yeah. isn't it? But uh, nothing extravagant. Yeah. Holy crap, Rob, you are up to your neck in trouble today. Go ahead, Rob. Deal with this. Because no, hold on. Hey, he Zeb. told you, Rob, he told you you got to huck yourself. Yeah. Well, he didn't want to put the F word there. That's yes, probably the only polite. good thing he did. He's polite. Zeb, hey, you Zeb, are Zeb. fired up. Zeb, why are you capitalizing all your words? Are we going to ask Michael how his life is going? Okay, you ask Michael, and take it on, producer. Dear Michael, how is your life going? What, it's going great. Where Where are you? I know you said, but I can't remember again. Oh, I am in I am in Colby, Kansas, right now, and uh, today we're driving to uh, we're driving to Manhattan, Kansas, to go uh, do a master class at Kansas State University. Yes. And then uh, tomorrow night we have a free and public recital. So if you live anywhere in the vicinity of Manhattan, Kansas, Manhattan. come see the Air Force Academy Academy wins. Uh, we're giving a free open concert tomorrow night. Nice. Um, but yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere right now, and we're passing through Salina today. We're going to be driving through Salina. Well, there it is. Salina Cass is do getting you the travel oh. on a big bus. How do you guys move around? Uh, well, I'm just with the, I'm with the, uh, there's six of us on this tour. Okay. So, um, we're, we've got a, we've got a big band and then a little SUV. Oh, okay. Rob, you hey, have uh, a lot of work to do today. Hold on. No, no, no. Hey, looks like we've made a match today, Rachel. 
Okay, what's going on, Rob? Can you go to release productions, please? Release productions. Okay, hey, here we go. It looks like Billiam and Zeb might have a secret uh, friendship. Uh -oh, unified, unified in a. Uh, uh oh, something's. Wait, happening. so are you are you still fighting with uh like pimping vinyl or whatever that guy's name is? Wait, wait, Michael. Who am I not fighting with? That's the better. Uh, that's true. Oh, all right, there is that. And hold on. Oh. Uh, uh, Michael, who's the uh, out of the group of guys you're with? Who has the biggest rock star behavior? Is someone? Never mind. I'm not allowed. Uh, to, I'm not allowed to. That's that's what's called in the government. We call that CUI, uh, confidential unclassified information. Confidential unclassified it means you can have it. Uh, hold, uh, Rachel, can I do a Zeb styled shout out to someone in the PM okay? Blaine show yes, it is a business day at least. Just letting you know that somebody was watching it. Okay, Rob, who would you like to shout out? Which uh, character would you like the, to shout out? Oh, there's a little boy with a hope and a dream in his pocket. Yes. Who has a live stream tonight. It's called the mm -hmm. Ski Lodge. Although yes. it's a rickety shack of a place yes. with no hot water and only one working bathroom. Go there tonight and watch him do his... Um, Sunshine Pop what time, what time does the show begin, Rob, at the old ski lodge? Uh, yeah, Schnee, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's 6 p.m. Pacific. Stephen she, um, uh, I don't, I don't know what that's in reference to. I don't know who Joyce Hayato is. Um, that was, if it's a dozen years ago, I was in high school, so I might not have been keeping up with the with the, the music news. Um, oh, oh, and also, yeah, but sorry, we got a double down. Uh, John, I got your, uh, I. I got your John or Jack. I don't know if you prefer John or Jack because your email says it's both. Jack, I, I got your e Jack. Okay, Jack. I got I got your email. No worries. I, I figured something was up with that, so I, I I'm glad you got it back. Hey right, Rachel, can you go back to Zeb? Thank you, Zeb, because that's the title of my next album. Apologize, the wax. Yes, I do. Rachel, you would like this. I do a cover of a Corey Hard song. Rob, I don't know why you're doing this. <laughs> Michael, I need you to read this again to help Rob because he's really getting hit. So what you say, Waxed, is a lie that I don't support other channels. That's a good then read. you say later that I post shitty links, parentheses, other people's channels. You are just full of shit. Whoa. That is, that I did not expect. That's a hell of a hey, reading. Can I, can I put I, that blurb? Like on Rachel? Panel with us, <laughs> Rachel. Can I put yeah. that blurb on my album on the back? Yeah. Of the <laughs> you should sure get on the back of the Wax Apologize album, and then on the back it's got that little blurb. Um. Okay, here's some uh, factoid from the from the ski lodge. Rob, I'll let you take this on. You have a relationship with Stephen that I think you can convey the import of what's happening over there. It's more like a, um, you know, when two people are stuck in an elevator. Yes. <laughs> Joyce Hada released roughly a hundred albums during her final year. Her final year. All of which were critically acclaimed. They ended up being pirated copies of other famous pianist albums. Oh, oh no. Yeah. So yeah, she yeah, was yeah. a bit of a huckster. Apollo. Is Jack. that like the is that like the uh the the uh real emo meme? Does anyone know the real Jose definitely knows the real emo meme? Real emo only consists of nineties DC hardcore and adjacent blah 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 blah. And it's like this big paragraph that people read. Oh, that's kind of wild. Hey. No one knows what I'm talking about. Jose does. Okay, can you go to can you highlight Zeb's comment, please? I want to read Brad because you have what do you think about this young character? Uh the uh Rice, Rice Patty Jr. Rice Patty okay. Jr. Uh, Rice Patty Jr. is one of the biggest go-getters in the vinyl community, Can doing do. state of the art, technically perfect, yeah, uh brilliant videos that Very that speak less about us and more about society on a whole. Yes. Please watch it. It is. And it's March Madness right now is upon us. Yes. I see a future nomination for a ghostie for the Young Poetry on Plastic. Best interpretation of a peanut chat comment in some time. And even the, you know, you know you've nailed it. You know you've knocked it out of the park when the originator of it 
uh, complimentary, saying, great reading poetry. It was like, I felt Seb was with us at that moment. If not corporally, at least in spirit, young Seb was right there with us. It was a beautiful moment. Nice delivery, Rick's with a complimentary. Well, Paul, okay. uh, oh, okay. this is for I you. Was say, yes, Paul, uh, if you're if you're not doing anything tomorrow night, we're playing a, a free concert at uh, KS, KSU. So you should come by. Uh, Paul, it's Paul as opposed to Paula. Um, I've yeah, I've, I've listened Paula. to the recordings of, of Kissin before. Okay. Um, he's a good pianist. Um, is, I think he's still, isn't he still active, right? It's, sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the classical piano players. Wow, that was a very prolonged silence. There is a lot going on right now, and one involves one of the most creative, dynamic forces of our community today, Rice Batters Jr. Brad Teal, I was banned at the Flipster stream, either by the host or by Donut Dave. It was a high water mark for me. Now, controversial record collector, got about an all around good fella, storyteller at large, Elliot Cruz joins us now. Welcome, Elliot, to TV. Oh, show. no. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot. Needs wipe, you yes. need to wipe your lens off. Elliot, you've got a soft focus today. Yeah, he's like a de he's doing the Doris Day thing. Oh, it's, oh, we've been talking about malls, and you know what's the uh, where you get the the glamour shots at the mall. Once yeah, yeah, that's correct. I don't know. I get my glamour shots at J.C. Penny. <laughs> uh, is Rice Paddy's Junior start? No, Rice Baddies is entirely different. Rice Baddies Jr., and he's such a talent. He's he's quick with a with a with a one liner. Go ahead, producer. Jose would like him. Rachel. Jose Rachel. Ran. Yes, they Rob. say that they say that talent skips a generation. Yes. And Rice Paddies Jr. proves that every day he exists on this planet Earth. Absolutely. Wait, who are who are we calling Rice Paddies Jr.? I'm not up on all the Rice We're calling Jr. We're calling Rice Paddy's Jr. Rice Paddy's Jr. That he's is the Paddy's official. Uh, wait, he, he's a he's the official, not the unofficial, parody video producer uh, in opposition to the other parody video producers. Yes, a parody of the parody, a parody of the say. parody channels. Yeah. But it doesn't better. That must be that must be riveting for the all the hundred people in the world that that follow that. I think you're probably right about that, Mike. Very good. He's upset. Uh, okay, He's... I love this comment for DJ Trish. I hope to get to my mall soon. The antique mall, that is. Antique malls are great. They are fun. Uh, hey, uh, now, uh, Trish, can you do a video where you're looking for Mazzy? You might find him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, there's some criticism against Elliot for his neutral stance. Elliot has become a, what's called a fence sitter these days. I disagree. I would I would disagree with that. I I I'm opposed to everybody feeling like it's got to be uh, sides taken in everything. You know, I think that's kind of silly. It's kind of kind of silly. Okay, Ella. What about these false accusations? You're getting quite a reputation as being a tattletale, a tale teller, a spinner. Ellie made some basis attacks on me, things I don't do. He said, I do do. It was disgusting. The word, that's a very strong word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, all I did was say I just didn't think these parody videos were, were a good idea. Okay. That's that's some pretty controversial words right there, isn't it? Okay, I'm ending the voting. It's gone my way. I'm ending it right now. Uh, today's question, ketchup on a hot dog? Yes, 53%. No, 47 And Paul. Sorry, Rob, I had to end it right there. Okay, so That's yes rigged. goes on the hot dogs. Rigged. Wow, that was close. Well, okay. Ray, it doesn't change the fact that 53% of the people here are morons. I, I, I am a fit, fence sitter on that one, though, Rachel. All right, go ahead. On that issue. I, yeah. Sometimes I think ketchup's awful on hot dogs you should just be mustard slaw maybe some relish sometimes uh other times i go all out ketchup mustard 
slaw, chili, everything. I think I think the 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 most um, the most uh, nonpartisan take is that you always put mustard on a hot dog. You can add ketchup if you like. Good point. Good point. Now, Elliot, have you seen the have you seen the uh, new uh, video uh, yesterday's papers? It's incredible I, with Renee Kerman. No, I missed that. that. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Here it is now hey, for you. Uh, hold on. Does Michael, have, oh. does Michael have ketchup flavored reeds that he puts on his own? Yes, he does. All right, here we go, Elliot. I call my, 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 Where? my, my, my. Or to bend in half, or to bend in half. Be you, be you, be you. Or to bend in half, or to bend in half. Hello, 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 hello. Are you good? Hello, hello. is absolutely off the charts incredible it's like you're the power the overseer of uh, viewing uh, life on earth wondering what's going on with humanity will we survive and you're overarching you're overseeing you're like the watcher the cosmic that's my role, Ooh, that's that's my role. That. everybody has their role that's my role who, who uh who made that well yeah. renee kierman of course no rested yesterday's paper yesterday okay oh. give it all away uh, it's not bad. Like the production value is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Well, you know Did what? Yesterday's paper really make that, or are we just BS? No, it's yesterday's papers put it together. So, uh, no, because yeah. Renee, you were here with us. We're on the panel. Renee's uh, had this problem where he starts glitching, and it happened with the 106, 106, 106. Uh, have you heard the 106 song, uh, Poetry on Plastic? No. Oh, please. That's all right, Rachel. All right. All all right. right. It's all right, Rachel. We're sorry, sorry. did I say the wrong thing? Yeah. This, Michael, was, this was the very first song. If he does yeah. This, this was incredible. And it was the very first song that became a hit. But then there's the other one. But this is the original hit, 106. Hey, like I said, it's 106 
uh, the main title is 106, but also known as Hello, Can You Hear Me? Also, and people together, wonder why I don't like pop music. Oh, my God, uh, Elliot. But, you know, it's uh, the great. I can't believe I went I went all this time not not uh, not knowing what that was. Well, you've been. I wish so I could go back. You've been so busy. But Renee was on. And unfortunately, he's been having some trouble when he comes on and he'll get glitch. So he was trying to say 106 and suddenly it just locked in. And so poor Renee's there going 106, 106. And we're all watching. Going, what the hell's going on? And then the latest uh, uh, incident was he was talking about his orthophon and his bent stylus. Orthophon, bent in half. Orthophon, bent in half. And YP to the rescue again, making oh, hold music. On, uh, hold on. Let's get yeah. Michael's take on how Rene can revive his thing. Okay, well, now, we went what, over what and over mean? and over that the other day. What do you mean? Michael, Michael, uh, dead, Michael's boy. an expert, Elliot. Well, put a put the take okay. the old stylus off. I mean, the old cartridge off, and put yeah. the one on that came with the with the turntable. That's all he's got to do. Or take the stylus. Is it, a, is it, a, off. Is it an Ortofon two M? Yeah. Then you just you just buy a new stylus. You don't have to buy a new cartridge. The side right. the, the stylus yeah, part the slides off, and you put oh, the other no, one. Exactly. The, 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 the whole thing was. World. The style, you know, the stylus has they often do cost almost as much as buying both yeah. cartridge and styles. I mean, that's but kind of that that's matter. kind of the shame. He's got, of... he's got a perfectly good Ortofon cartridge that came with the turntable with oh. nothing wrong with it. All he's got to do is take the one with the broken stylus off, put that one on, and when he saves up some money, he can buy a stylus for well, or the, he uh, could just sell the blue the or whatever it was he had. He could just sell but the Elliot, that's, that's a simple explanation. Yeah. So that's that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, Frank Musley asked a question. So many are asking themselves this day and age. It slides right off. What's the big deal? Uh, but Brad wants to know, how do you break it in half? Hi, Liam. Welcome to TV show. We're doing really well. We're having a lot of fun. Well, We've got hold on. We, we were okay until you showed up, Liam. Liam, we're <laughs> fine. Thank you for being here, Liam. We love you. Uh, okay, so, no, the problem is that me, I'm love. Me, I'm love, love. No, the problem, Michael, is that Renee is on disability and he doesn't have the funds. He wanted to do a GoFundMe to get the or, or, the cartridge, but this is when Johnny L came to the fore with a very uh, uh, harsh and critical, some would say jauntous look at the situation where he was saying, no, Renee, you've got to learn to stand on your two impoverished feet. <laughs> no no uh, charity for you, my friend. That's Johnny L right. was simply applying yeah. common sense to a situation yeah. that, Thank you, Elliot. that okay. common sense needs yeah. seems to be uh, the uh, what the missing link in this whole yeah. discussion. Folks, speaking of the minky, uh, missing link, Elliot has just thrown me the ball. Boom, I've caught it. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. Today at 10 o'clock uh, <laughs> Pacific, I'll be on the missing link. TV show where I will be interviewed following hot on the heels of a Naomi Wolf interview that this young YouTube personality conducted. Uh, so I'm very honored to be following the wonderful, the attractive, the ever lovely Naomi Wolf. And of course, those of you who watch the old Phil Donahue program and Sally Jesse Raphael, of course, you know that Naomi Wolf is no stranger. Uh, to 80s television. So fantastic stuff. Thank and you. Naomi Wolf, isn't she like the, the crazy, like naturopathic conspiracy lady? Uh, that's how Probably. liberal heroes have Probably. framed her. But she started out much like Camille Paglia. Camille Paglia, are you familiar with the words of Camille Paglia, Poetry and Plastic? No. Camille Paglia, another feminist uh, speaker of some renown and also a frequent appearer on shows such as Mike Douglas, uh, Phil Donahue, and, uh, of course, Dinah Shore, uh, the talk show host. And, of course, my favorite, Tony. Rachel, 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 don't you only like her because she's, like, a vaccine denier? She's like, not, I, feel, I feel like 10 years ago you would have hated her. I, no, I've always loved her, but I, we were at odds. We were at odds with one another ideologically. 
Now, through the foresight and through a growing curve on her part, she has come around more to my way of thinking. Rob, go ahead. When you're on the Nutcase uh, stream later today, yes. Rachel, yes. can you pose the catch-up on the hot dog question, please? Yeah. What's the name of the channel so I can put a link on it? Well, right? I've got the link. Yes, right right right. Here. If you put the link on okay. Hey, here. Rachel, I actually, after, after that appearance on your show of this yeah. missing link guy, yeah. which was totally, he, it was crazy. I, I went and watched one of his video interviews with somebody. Those, I mean, if nobody, if people couldn't see how batshit crazy the missing link guy is from from his visit here. Yes. Watching 15, 20 minutes of one of his interviews with a fellow batshit crazy conspiracy theorist. Yes. Uh, will confirm. Oh, yeah, this any doubts uh, that anybody I'm, has about that? I am very yeah, this, this, this lady is a piece of shit. Uh, like, I'm just like browsing her Wikipedia. In a series of Facebook posts in October 2014, Wolf questioned the authenticity of videos purporting to show beheadings of two American journalists and two Britons by the Islamic State, implying that they had been staged by the U.S. government and that the victims yeah. and their parents were actors. Wolf also charged that the U.S. was dispatching military troops not to assist in treating the Ebola virus in West Africa, but to carry the disease back to home to justify a military takeover of the U.S., that's that's typical of what I saw on this guy's video. Yeah. Well, Fuck now, this lady. well that's uh, Naomi Wolf, lovely lady. Rob, go ahead. <laughs> when you're on camera too, after you ask the ketchup question, can you yes. go like this? No. <laughs> Just to add that further intrigue. Uh, that's of course that's what we call in the business. You're in Hollywood, you understand this. It's what's known in the business as selling it. We're selling it. And really, and that is like Elliot sending me the missing like pitch. Go like, go like this, Rachel. I'm here for the space aliens. <laughs> I should have some tinfoil on. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, and, of course, you can get that merch from the store right now. I guess we ha you know, I, we could advertise the oh, store. We do have. Don't. Okay, well, anyway, we've. If you want to go to my merch store, inquire, and we can get some to you. Go ahead. Well, there. No, no, no. Uh, yes, go ahead. She has to prove to them that she's one of their own <laughs> by showing the tinfoil coffee mug. Yes, well, exactly. There is that. There is it's that. it's known as an olive branch, and it's diplomatic. Go ahead, Elliot. Can you highlight? VU meters comment. Yes, we love VU meters. Go ahead. I I will neither confirm nor deny that, uh, <laughs> but I think we need to mention Rachel. I talked about our four games in four days yeah, run for the ACC title. Yes. And guess what? Did you what pay happened? any attention at all? Yes. NC State beat number one seed in the NCAA tournament, arch rival UNC Chapel Hill. Chapel to Hill. Win after playing that the fifth game in five in five days, going from a losing record in the conference to beating the third, second, and first seeded teams in the conference yes. to win their first. ACC title in 37 years. It is a happy day for all NC State Wolfpack fans. And we did it. Okay, here's your conspiracy theory, uh, VU. Yes. Mohamed uh, Diara is our one of our forwards. He is Islamic. Uh -oh. What is this month? Is Ramadan. Ramadan. He cannot eat or drink. From yeah. sun up to sundown every day. I believe he just, also has to remain celibate during this period. Well, we ain't worried about that part. We're talking about uh, you think about what what an athlete goes through in a forty in a forty minute basketball game. Yeah. He so when they're playing these games, he has not eaten or drink. He is uh, wow. anything he is since terrible. sun up and. Yeah. When and, and he's exerting all that effort. He played yeah. a great conference tournament. And what they did was they had all these Gatorades and bananas and uh, energy bars sitting on the table, and they would watch the clock. They knew exactly when sundown was. 
yeah. he would be out there playing. Yeah. And the first time out, he would come out of the game it, when the clock hit sundown. Yes. And he'd be in there just e eating all this stuff and pouring down Gatorade, getting himself hydrated, back out there and giving 100%. It was an amazing, uh, amazing effort on his yeah. part. Uh, he had 60 rebounds in five games. Wow. 60, 60 rebounds. rebounds. Wow. And this is a man that neither eats nor drinks. And for all accounts is uh, avoiding any sexual activity. Even and including self pleasuring, from what I understand. That's that's a deal. Uh, I didn't know. I really need to know. <laughs> well, this is well, the world you know what they fun. say. Yes. Religion makes you do retarded shit. Uh oh, come on now. Abstinence can make a heart grow. Hurt, you're hurting my feelings now, Michael. Oh, there you go. Um, tell yeah. Rob. Oh, wait a second. Oh, waxed, I can tell yes. Rob. Okay, we've got a little VCLT coming your way. Oh, okay, should be there in a couple yeah. of weeks. Couple of weeks. It's very hey, little. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, we got problems here, Rob. The wax, it's time to slag off music in the house for posting links which don't contribute. Well, a narcissist would okay. make a comment like that, Zeb. Are you a narcissist? All right, he's not a narcissist. It's Zeb. Oh, he's if a you go, hold on, Zeb. Zeb, if you go back to my original start with you. It's about you come back acting like you've never done anything wrong. That was the the hinge in my um but the you take pack. it to a whole new the level. Pack. Uh Rob, you and Zeb quit. Just y'all just okay, drop it. It's so okay. old. Listen, just, Elliot, you're uh, next. You beat it. You, you're, beat it to you death. are next, Elliot Cruz. That's okay. okay. You beat it. But guess what? I, I would just step hey, out. Hey, listen, Elliot, you're, you're not talking I'm not talking about my it. team. Who went on a four-game run to lose in the championship game? <laughs> but they're in the who, NIT. Who, so. Who'd they lose to in the? Um, they lost to um, Duquesne, who has made the yeah. tournament for the first time in forty-seven years. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we're we're playing Villanova tomorrow night yeah. in the yeah. NIT. Yeah. yeah. Well, Appalachian State had an amazing year this year, and they didn't get in the NCAA. Well, I was really disappointed. Well, yeah, we were a ten has been in down years, but I think we had six teams over twenty wins this this year. You're James Madison, right? No, James Madison's in the Colonial. Yes. Oh, okay. That's my You're, nephew's school, right? But uh, they were ranked all year, James Madison. Okay. What go ahead. What, what conference? I mean, what what school? I forget, Rob. Virginia Commonwealth, man. Virginia, the biggest school I, in the state of Virginia. Oh, you went to Virginia Commonwealth? Yes. I thought you went to James Madison. That was your nephew. And my nephew went there. He yeah. won the national okay. championship in football there. Okay. The the team is the Wolf Pack for Patrick that asked. Wolf Pack is uh, the North Carolina. Yes, we will be discussing uh, the big fight. And am this I, is kind of like when the Brits get to going about soccer. You know, sometimes you we just got to get on these little now, hold on. tangents. Ra Rachel. You know how people, when they ask, like people, if you could go back at any time and have dinner with any famous person, yeah. when you're on the Nutcase show, yeah, can you say, um, what would you do if you could have a dinner with like Bigfoot? Yes, Big Mummy. The um, Mummy. Those are fast. I don't know, I don't know conspiracy. Elvis. Elvis. Z uh, Nostradamus. Elvis. Nostradamus. Oh. I see. I'm not too much of the uh, my guy now. My guy is uh, Jesse, is the host of the program. I don't know to what extent, like, because we it was such a, a, a screwball visit when he came. Because Rob, you wouldn't let the kid speak, and you're jumping all over. He doesn't need my help for his channel. He's got a lot of subscribers, and you know he's got a good little show going. Um, but uh, it'll be very interesting. The link to the missing link is right here. Go to the channel. You can see that I'm there coming up at 10 o'clock Pacific this morning. So click on this link, head over there, and uh, you'll see me uh, in discussion uh, beginning at 10 o'clock Pacific. So it'll be interesting. We'll talk about all the conspiracies and what I believe in. It'll be very difficult hey. for some people like uh, poetry and plastic hey. to stomach. There'll be a lot of love shared about my... Loving hey. President Trump. Yes. Uh, Elliot, could you Elliot, could you go like this for a second? Uh, hey Zeb. 
Uh -oh. I'll apologize to you if you could go a week without complaining about me on another person's stream. Okay. Because okay. uh, I can hear word. that. Yeah, I the last word here, no exclusive goes. Don't leave me alone with the wax. And he's screaming in some Look, sort Zep, of go a week uh, without going on another stream uh, and complaining uh, about yo, me. Just, just drop it, Rob. Just drop it. Uh, drop it, the, drop it uh, like a tie. Look, Elliot, hey, look, chance, what you, look what Zebra. Brought. Chance makes a good point. Yeah. Uh, and somebody else made the same point. Yeah, the NC State is really not that good a basketball team. They got hot. Uh, and it's very – I would not be surprised if we lost in the first round. Texas Tech is a very good uh, Big 12 basketball team. So I wouldn't be shocked, but I'd, I'd be very happy. That would be icing on the cake if we can make a run in the NCAA tournament. But nothing takes away from the fact that we won the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship this year. Yeah. The conference championship champion team is decided not by the regular season, but by the tournament. Yeah, but anybody tells Elliot, you different. Elliot, there's always three the teams. There's always three teams that go on a crazy run. So it is, and and state could be one, but but that run was so crazy in the in the conference tournament. I don't know if we could sustain that. But uh, hey, anything beyond uh, the conference tournament is is icing on the cake, and we'll take it. And I'm not going to cry if we lose because we, we had a – we won a conference championship. Uh, I wonder who I've talked to about you, The Wax. I go straight to the source. That is you and me, okay? So no going outside of the boundaries or you'll be judged as being, quote, offside. <laughs> it's like Zeb doesn't have a memory of every day before today. Go ahead there, Elliot. We got this for you. It would have been better for the program to lose the conference champ game so they could fire the coach and start fresh. Now they are stuck with Keats and had to give him a two-year extension. He also got a $400,000 yeah. pay increase for winning the conference championship. Uh, I think we can stick with Keats. If you look at the great coaches throughout college basketball history, he, he's not of one of them. Many of them had struggles in their first years. And oftentimes the urge to fire a coach when you don't get uh, immediate or mid-period results that you, you expect or you want, uh, that, that urge is great. So maybe actually this will be a positive and they will uh, – and Keats will emerge as a – he, uh, he, he, how long he's coach. been there for he's been there for 10 years right no, se seven years this seven, is seven. and he came what did he come from coast not coastal did he come from no he he was uh actually hey, different places he was at louisville as an assistant he no, was i know uh, but he was a head coach somewhere and he left at the hargrave out. military academy hargrave yeah, but, and i know he took a recruit from vcu as one of his first big signings yeah. At NC State. Uh, quick reminder, everybody, hit the thumbs up on the program. It does help us out. Uh, seven, and, seven years. But remember, that seven years with co the COVID year in there. State was had a good team in the COVID year, and they were headed for the NCAA tournament and didn't get in. So it's kind of hard to – it's not seven years. You have to say seven years included the COVID year. When you uh, when you look at coach at this point, hey, uh, um, before I pack up, can I play you the hardest part of my program? Yeah, you sure can. We'd love that. I can use to play it for someone before I play it for an audience. As long as it takes away Zeb, let me switch to uh, the computer mic. Uh, All right, folks, uh, we're honored to have uh, oboist uh, extraordinaire. Uh, Michael Poetry on Plastic to perform for us the moving uh, piece. Uh, like this is actually this is actually a samba. I have to play like it's basically a saxophone solo over a samba. Oh it's wow! Okay. Very tricky. Um, so yeah. yeah. Well, good luck, sir. Here we go. <laughs>
Wow, Michael. Wow. Well, yeah, but, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of air. Oh, man, what a man. I like this guy. To make that work, that's a difficult piece. Uh, bravo, bravo. Um, is, any, is anyone in the rooms next to you, Michael? Actually, I think they put us on the floor where they're repainting all the rooms. <laughs> so we're like the only people on this floor. Wow. Great stuff, Michael. Great stuff. Now, Johnny, are you a, a fan of the oboe? Is that your favorite wind instrument? I, 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 no, I did play this, the alto sax in high school. Um, yes. Not for long, and enough to play, be able to learn how to play green sleeves. But that basically that's about it. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. So you're, uh, you were able, to, with your alto sax, to perform the uh, classic, the traditional song, green sleeves. Yeah. No, I. Uh, so were you good at the, what, the instrument known as the recorder? Oh, no, I've never played a recorder before. No. Okay. Rob, did you play the recorder as a youngster at the, in your school in the seventh grade? That was elementary school in my world, Rachel. I have to say, giving people the recorder as their first instrument yes. is a way to turn you off. Yes, I can, can turn you off of music. Uh, folks, I'm going to put Johnny in the driver's seat as I enjoy some toast oh, in preparation right. for my big interview. Go ahead, Johnny. By the way, I I got this yesterday. Tell us about it. Yes. Well, I got it from uh, Leon, of course. Um, great artist. Uh, the 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 I I had it wrapped up in this. Yeah. Like he wrap they he wraps up every album that he sends in this. Um, Wrapping, right. and um, he sends you a he sends you a small card here that you can download uh, something you can download on here, which we're going to try later on or something. And uh, on, Johnny, you just showed that some you better download it right now. Oh, <laughs> um, and a note. And I like the fact that you can un un like Rachel showed it yesterday, but I'll show it again that you can un, un tie it up like this. I, I've never seen that before the gatefold and and open it up. And I'm not going to open up that envelope. I'm leaving it sealed. Yeah, I'm leaving mine sealed. Too. Yeah, and it, and it, of course it comes with the uh, the booklet. Um, there could be a thousand dollar bill in that envelope. Could be a, a comes with the the booklet with pictures, so very well, very well put together. Absolutely, very well put together. And and the album, the the album itself, um, is really nice. You no, know, it, it's absolutely beautiful. I I think it's absolutely well put together. And and if you like the if you like that kind of like ambient stuff and all that, I I haven't le uh, heard it already yet, but I did hear one track uh, of it on on uh, YouTube, and uh, I like uh, the kind of uh, style that is, you know, ambiance and all that. So nice and relaxing once in a while. But great, great, uh, great stuff, I think. But that's it. That's all. <laughs> oh, say. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's that? Hello. Hey, how's that? I'm right now. Huh? Oh, is Rachel munching on cheese? Or uh, peanut butter, probably. No, just butter yeah. and toast. Well, Rachel, would you eat the same thing every day in the morning? I uh, mostly, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Uh oh, it's heating up, Johnny. <laughs> uh, it's a low blow to the ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, I had, I got permission from my wife that I could have it. There you go. Oh. Hey, Jose, I wanted to ask how the uh, how the band is going because it looks like you guys are um, doing some recording soon, aren't you? No, we we already recorded. We we just uh, I just came back from doing three shows. Oh, awesome! So, uh, yeah. Are you guys are you guys only playing in Mexico right now? Um, yeah, we played the U.S. before, but um, it was just like, you know, as it comes, basically. But uh, yeah, I'm planning to do a little uh, tour in the U.S., but, uh, cool. you know, it requires uh, a little bit of uh, funding, so, you yeah. know. 
Hey, Rachel, I have a if you need any, if you, I mean, you you probably already have contacts in Austin. I was going to say, if you need contacts in Austin, I know a bunch of people in local bands there. Well, it'll, it'll be cool. Here's my yeah. download code for people to download. On you know, a, a lot of places that I really oh, love playing in Austin um, have closed. So, yeah, it will be good. Yeah. Uh, the problem with Austin is that I don't know the, I don't know the venues anymore. Yeah, but it's it's yeah, but that's, yeah, that's the thing. It's like a lot of small venues or medium sized venues are not. Um, I mean, Mohawks, are, Mohawks. Are I mean, like the, I feel like the two places that are still popping in Austin are Mohawk and Hotel Vegas. Like they still yeah, those, still those do are a lot like, of the shows. Yeah, but like Mohawk is mostly for bands from outside. It's not. It's like big like names you know yeah, but hotel, like, hotel, um, hotel vegas is more local yeah yeah I, i've 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 seen the ocs there like multiple times uh what's the name of your band jose we know oak sun but delicate oh well, uh yes but we actually just changed your name because uh um, okay. well not not that we didn't change your name it's just gonna be a different project i guess because we will release eventually by the name oak again, uh, sun. yes but uh It'll be something else. Okay, have you determined the new name? Yeah, it's called uh, Sonido 13. Okay, how would you spell that? Sonido, S-O-N-I-B-O-S. Sonido, S-O-N-I-D-O. Sonidos? Sonido 13. Okay, it's going to be Sonios. No. <laughs> so, uh, Sonios. Sonios. Uh, Sonios sound bar trussing. So Sonido 13 is a musical notation, microtonal music notation from the 1900s by Julian Carrillo, which is a classical music composer that uh, put uh, microtonal music into classical uh, music, but he also experimented with um, experimental music here. And, um, and I really um, love that. And... Um, you know, I played some. Doing... I played some microtonal compositions before. That is, it is very annoying to play. Okay, Wolfie will say that. Is, uh, Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Wolfie. Wolfie is, uh, of course, Colombian. He uh, speaks the language, la lengua, he knows it. Sonido, sonido, and then the number three. Um, so, Wolfie is from Colombia. Colombian, yes. Colombian well, hey, just fun fact. A uh, little restaurant in Lillington, my town of 3,000 in rural North Carolina. We just okay. got a Colombian restaurant. We got Have you tried arepas yet? Johnny, hold on. We got controversy with Shani. Shani, you're sending messages to Renee in our private chat. Renee isn't on camera. Shani, Renee will be unable to hear your plaintive plea. Can you try and tell <laughs> Renee what you're trying to communicate to Renee? Uh, that's why I put it in private chat. <laughs> why would I put it all over this? Because yeah, but you know what's, you know what's going to happen? hear it. Renee will never see it. Where, you, Renee can't see that. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, yeah, but you, Adam, I did not say what the message is. I'm trying to tell you, Jenny, and I'm hoping I'm, hoping I'm clear about this. If Renee <laughs> is on the not on the panel with the panel, Renee oh, will never I see what you mean. Okay, message. that's right. That's right. Okay, he will yeah, never right. Yeah, see. Right. So the message is like into a vacuum, which will be absorbed, and there'll be no human to ever interpret it. Renee, so I'm trying check to your, tell you, Renee, you. check your Facebook. I sent the print message to you. There. Um, hey, Rachel. <laughs> but you uh, will now be able to make sense of that comment. I turn now to Rob with further advice. Ra Rachel, I just put a private message for Zeb in the private chat, okay? <laughs> Zeb, there's a private <laughs> message for you. But uh -huh. you're right about that. Um, he has to be on the panel. I wasn't Rob, thinking that's correct, right. correct, right. Johnny. And so I'm trying to steer you, direct you, right. guide you. Johnny, I was just, I was just at our to... age, we can't keep up with all this technology. It's <laughs> you're right. Good. You're right. I was just trying to uh, um, do it discreetly because I yeah. know what the peanut very... gallery is like. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Friday. Hey, I got I got what I'm going to ask finish, for uh... when I go to the restaurant. Okay. Unfortunately, y'all, I got to finish packing up the hotel <laughs> and um, and check out because we got to hit the road. However, um, if anyone if anyone in the VC is a Kansas City person, um, I'm going to be in Kansas City on uh, 
on Friday. I'd love some suggestions of record stores to hit up because I'm going to have most of the afternoon off on Friday. Kansas so let City. me know good Kansas Kansas City record stores. Someone right. message me on Kansas 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 Instagram Kansas. or something. Didn't you go to uh, Analog Productions? Like They have a store, right? Like If you go there. And Salina. Yeah, we're going to be passing through Salina, but we're not going to have time to sub. Uh, it's really I nice Randall to see you, Nelson Michael. is from Kansas yeah. City. Uh, the really nice to see Randall you. Nelson in the VC. He doesn't usually do live streams, but you might drop him a message on one of his video, latest videos, yeah. and he could probably tell you a couple of good places. He's yeah, a nice boy. We like Randall him. Nelson. And, yeah, that was yeah. a good. Uh, that was a good de demonstration of your playing. You're excellent, absolutely excellent. You're a great artist. Thank you. That yeah, that uh, that passage has given me more stress on this tour than anything. Else. I can so, imagine. It seems I just, it seems I just like playing difficult. it for people. It seems pretty difficult to do. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's really like, it's written like it's for a saxophone. I don't know. Mm. Though, so, all right. <laughs> uh, I got to take off, guys. All right, Michael. Thank you so much for helping us out. Let's turn our attention now, Rob. The wax is to have some issues uh, develop. Listen, Baggy, <laughs> I agree with you. There's, you've okay. summarized it pretty good. Yeah. Um. So much is happening. Um. No. Oh. P positive note, Rachel. We always need positive notes. Okay, uh, Rachel, that's for a positive yeah. note. Uh, well, I was just going to say that uh, that uh, Louis helped me yesterday. Uh, Louis and I got my mixer issue figured yeah. out. He yeah. didn't directly figure it out, but he got yeah. he got my mind working. My old old brain started processing, and I figured out a workaround uh, to uh, get my mixer to record needle drops. Yeah. So. I did drop my most um, a, a new uh, video, a reissue review of uh, Kenny Baker's country Kenny album Baker. on County yeah. Records, the fiddler Kenny Baker. So it's a, a reissue. Anybody that has any interest at all in uh, in fiddle music or bluegrass, it's only a less than ten minute video. If you check it out, learn about a new reissue. Um, um, um wow. first of all. Your this apology, your apologies in the private chat. Secondly, Arnie Zanzibar, mm -hmm. if you could pull up your pants and put away yeah. your bottle of Vaseline and yeah. go somewhere else, you seem Vaseline. to have other places that enjoy your presence. But you're right. being yep. butthurt that you were banned from here because Bad. you're very obsessed with me. Yes. It's it's getting to be off putting. And by the way, you should be off putting. <clears throat> Uh, no, pudding, it can be quite fattening. It looks like I've been on a steady diet of pudding. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been a great show. We're covering so many uh, areas. Now we've got about 15 minutes more. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be heading off to uh, the uh, Missing Link program where I'll be interviewed talking about aliens, pyramids, Bigfoots. Bigfoot, the Bigfoot will be discussed. Uh, uh, what what is exactly is in can our hot dogs? Can you cover the Bermuda Triangle, please, Rachel? Yes. I, my favorite part of the, the one I love the most is when the naval pilots went missing. Six yeah. planes missing over the Bermuda. They don't know what happened to Flight 17. Uh, I had a, a friend for, um, that almost died in the Bermuda Triangle, Rachel. No, oh, no. I know okay. I did. I got I did. Elliot, I want to go to this story, but first, let me just very quickly cover this. Go ahead. Uh, what does Johnny L. think about Renee's new song? He pretends he hasn't heard it. Uh, I I like this, the first one better. Uh, but, uh, Rachel, the, the one uh, with the guitar, sorry. the one with the guitar playing. Uh, sorry to I like, interrupt. I like this uh, beautiful program uh, today. Um, it's been wonderful so far. Uh, yesterday, um, I was telling Rachel that I found uh, a record. I only bought it, to be honest, just to see if anybody here wants it. Uh, you know, I wouldn't charge them more than I, what I paid. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I just I just got it because some, I bought something else and said it. So I had this, uh, I think it's the second pressing of uh, the Beatles, but it's in the Mexican pressing. Mm -hmm. So if uh, and it's in stereo, or mono. stereo. Or uh, mono. It's in it's in it's in stereo, but um, it's really fucking clean. So uh, anybody that's interested, um, I don't know, you know, send me a message on uh, Instagram or whatever. But uh, it's in, still in shrink and shit. Uh, uh, 
All the titles are in Spanish. I don't know if you can see. Yo la vi allá. Quiero estrechar tu mano. Ella te ama. Serás mía. Right? So, um... Do you have a yeah. favorite song off that? What? Do you have what? a favorite song? I pretty much hate them all, but if I had to, um, it would be uh, from me to you. Mm -hmm. And then I found another copy of these, this. So uh, first mm -hmm. US. So if anybody's uh, interested, then, you know, let me know. That was it. That's the. That's it. You had to put Pretty that good. Beatles content in there, didn't you? Jose? Yeah, yeah, that was horrible. Rachel, so, I'd like to Bermuda con Bermuda Triangle story or no? You can do it. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Rachel, I, uh, oh, sorry, I've go got a, a friend. She she passed away a couple years ago, Amy. Uh, and Amy uh, lived in eastern North Carolina, and her dad had an airstrip. He was a flyer. He had an airstrip uh, in his yard, actually, uh, in Chadburn, North Carolina. And she had been flying since she was a little girl. Her dad would sit her in the seat with him and they would fly small planes. So when she went off to college, she went to Western Carolina university, which obviously is in the mountains of North Carolina. And instead of driving that long drive from Eastern to Western North Carolina, because North Carolina is the longest state East to West, East of the Mississippi. Uh, instead of doing that, maybe, maybe in the whole country, I'm not sure. But in, uh, she would fly her, her from her yard uh, in Chadburn. She would fly to Western Carolina and uh, and go to school. And on her on a flight back home one weekend, she had never flown at night before. Like we're talking about an eighteen year old now. She had never flown at night before, and she got her timing off, and she ended up running later than she expected and the sun went down it got dark on her and she overshot her her landing point at, at her home uh chadburn's maybe 30 miles from the coast she ends up trying to figure out where, where she is she ends up over the atlantic ocean and can't figure out you know where she is she's on the verge of panic and she's radioing in, I guess, the equivalent of an SOS. I don't know what you call it in aircraft. And eventually made contact with uh, with the Air Force Base at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And they were able to guide her back to find uh, back to land and find the lights at the, uh, the Air Force Base. And she landed her plane there. And she never flew uh she she decided flying was not for her what happened she rachel flying and, and uh that was over the bermuda that was the bermuda triangle she was in the bermuda triangle but the grasp of the triangle did not quite pull her in thanks thanks Dundee. um elliot that is an incredible encounter she survived survived thank god, thank god because and the, the call got went out, Harry knows they would have been going, Mayday, Mayday, repeat, can you, Mayday. We are flying over the Bermuda Triangle. We're in danger of being lost forever. Mayday. Now, also, we got this going. Jose, I'm really interested in the Beatles. I'll be this way. Your face showed Don's mouth. Sleep plane de Vines. <laughs> yes, yes, Dante. <laughs> Thanks, Dante. Ah, uh, I could. Uh, Johnny, we turn to you now. Can you read this, Johnny? <laughs> oh, Rachel, you're too much. Um, Rachel, I can't remember the the ending of the Harry of um, Elliot's story. By the way, can he repeat uh, everything? She survived that. Oh, Rachel, go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> Rachel, tell Johnny to send it again. I didn't know if it was if that was him. Uh, I tried. I I can't find the you know the button where it says friend. And you push on it; it's not there now on on his webs on his okay. uh, thing anymore. Uh, well, you may send, be broad, Johnny. But I did send. Our rivalry with Renee has taken a new turn. It's a dark. I may be turn. blocked. <laughs> Don't block Renee. I'm sorry, Renee. I tell you. 
Man. Oh, man. Okay, now, on a positive note, we've got another buyer interested. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely not uh, stunting. Definitely yeah. not. Stunting. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe that's uh maybe that's Stunty's uh son's account. That's it's retaliation. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny, Johnny Block Renee's go fund me. Oh god. You know the excitement <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh, can you put, put a give an knowledge branch out there where some, you know, can that uh, happen? <laughs> oh my um, God. Okay, go ahead. But you know where you you know where you press message, right? Uh, on there and a, a, a box pops up on the yeah. right hand side at the bottom. Yeah. You put a message. Yeah. Um, I did put a message in there. So if he went there in it, on his Facebook thing. Uh -huh. And the, the, you know the squiggly line where you, you press on it. There's a message at the bottom. Oh, okay. Anyway, to check that maybe, um, you know, I understand what he's saying. Like he doesn't know whether it's me or not because on Facebook you got to be careful, right? But, because it only says John, right? Like on there or something like that, right? So yeah. it's like you wouldn't know, right? Brad, I think it's going to be a revelatory. There'll be a lot of insight there on it. I'm so thrilled to be over there. It's going. We're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it should be a good interview. I'll be mentioning all of you uh, by name each in turn. Uh, so we'll li listen for that. Tune in just to hear. Yeah, right. Celebrity, <laughs> we'll go talk to fellow celebrity Jesse about what's happening. Um, okay, this is a powerful comment, Johnny. Um, Your toxic comments about Renee's GoFundMe were quite shocking. Toxic. It was shocking. I, 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 I'm even contemplating on banning myself. That's how shocking it was. But I was going to say something about yesterday's paper, but uh, you know, uh, but now I don't know. I was going to say, you know, yesterday's paper. He's very, very talented. I really, really yeah. enjoy watching his stuff. But now I don't know. <laughs> um, Rachel, no, I, um, I'm only kidding. He did, yesterday's paper is really, really talented. I, I enjoy that. that so. What he did. That's There's great. a link to the uh, channel. You'll see me there uh, listed amongst the uh, many. I'm following Hot on the Hills and the Emmy <laughs> Wolf. Quite the uh, feather in my cap, I dare say, uh, that I would be following uh, Naomi Wolf uh, on this program. Mm. Uh, is the, uh, uh, same, the same stream, you're the second guest, or is it two different? Two yeah, different podcasts, but her see, he'll, he's going to get an uptick in views just by having Naomi Wolf because she's quite a, a well-known celebrity. And so now, as me, the next guest following on uh, Hot on the Heels and Naomi Wolf interview, I think this is uh, this is fortuitous. It'll be interesting to see uh, how uh, how the peanut gallery may uh, be affected by your by your peanut my, gallery here. My yeah. feminine uh, demure and presence, absolutely. Well, I, I mean, I mean, I think they'll you'll you draw some people over here tomorrow. Uh, yes. After after that. Yeah. Now, is it is it a live stream podcast or? I think it's a live. I think we're going live with her. And at what time? Uh, ten o'clock Pacific. Uh, ten, eleven, twelve Central, and uh, one o'clock Eastern. Eastern. One yeah. Eastern. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of excitement. Musette loves Naomi Wolf. Absolutely beautiful young girl. Mm. Uh, uh, will you be selling exotic Beatles pressings there? Good question. No, uh, I'll probably mention the Beatles and probably get a mention. But each of you, that's my goal is to make sure that I don't miss a single one of you. And over the course of the interview, I'll be mentioning. I say, well, I think Musette said it best. And, uh, you know, and then uh, it'll be kind of thrown into the mix that way. Um, are you gonna plug PB Thal? PB Thal will be plugged so yeah. plugged. Do you think Stunty's uh, a turn on when I show this uh, Mexican beetle pressing? Oh, very much so. Very you know, much. I'd be I'd be interested in getting and buying that, but it's uh, uh -huh. it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's in Spanish, and I wouldn't know how to read the the. the yes, but you don't know the songs, and you could also have a cheat note, uh, Johnny. 
It, you can slip as, in uh, Europe and, and be able to. It uh, as advertised in the New York Times. Uh, you can see that El New York Times, right? Which, uh, which is a, it's a, it's a fake news outlet, as you may well know, if you're a Republican. I so, love that comment. They, Naomi they Earl, her, yeah, the beauty myth. This is, was her big claim to fame when she first came on the scene. The beauty myth. This book was hot all over the uh, television in the early days. Phil Donahue, as mentioned earlier, uh, Sally Jesse Raphael, and many, many <laughs> other top tier uh, talk shows. So is uh, beauty a myth? Beauty, well, the beauty myth, it, it, there is. I mean, it's the whole idea of women, sexualization, uh, objectification. Mm. Uh, Rachel can so she, was like a, yeah, she was a feminist Rachel. early on in her career? Uh, I should be doing it. She is a feminist. She remains a feminist. Rachel, yes. can you highlight Jeff's comments? I sure can. Uh, learn English. This is Mexico. I think people would be better if I started speaking like this, like, you know, like when, when people don't know English, you know? Do you have a switchblade you could hold up right there? <laughs> Phil Donahue, this is a, a bit of a misnomer. This is a bit of a rumor that Phil Donahue was, in fact, some mm -hmm. sort of liberal. No, he no, still is. No, He's still alive. Not, he's not a liberal. It's a rumor. <laughs> it was a vicious rumor started. And I believe it was studied by Marlo Tarmis. Uh, well, actually, what Phil and all those guys are, you know, are grifters. They're, um, they're, Phil was a grifter. He knew how to work up a work a crowd, work an audience, get the ratings, and just like people on the internet now are, so many of them are grifters, trying wow. to sell us, uh, you know, bullshit. shower curtains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, George, good point from Chandy. Because, you know, Johnny, you shouldn't let just the, and sometimes these foreign, to you, foreign, but uh, for someone in Mexico, it would be their native language. Uh, these records, uh, Johnny, can have an appeal in a market of themselves at a resaleable value. Because I don't even think I have that one, I'll tell you the truth. Um, okay. Well, you can, get, you can get this one, Johnny. But is it in uh, pesos? Is it in pesos or... Uh, I, you can you can send me whatever you want on PayPal, John. You can sell me I, Hong Kong uh, money, whatever. You know. But how can I get in touch with you? Wesley, well, you can send me an email. What? Yeah, I don't know your email address. Wesley? Well, I'll send it to you. Wesley. on the Wesley. Where, where you oh, send okay. your? Uh... Yeah, you're right. Okay. Wesley. You know, Hi, Wesley. Well, you, well, you know shipping day. shipping to Canada here is very very non expensive. All this technology, you know, I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know why is that. Like uh, here in Mexico, like to send to every country in the continent is the same price. But uh, so I don't know why in the U.S. shipping to Canada is so expensive. Because to me, it's like twelve dollars, ten dollars, something mm. like that. Maybe, maybe less. Wow. Uh, Jose, maybe you can answer this question to me. It's, you, you ship records back and forth and things yeah, like that. Cross countries. Not her talk. I, I bought a I my um, Discogs. I bought a record from Spain. Spain. But the record actually shipped from Mexico to me rather than from Spain to me. What? What is there? Is there something about the the shipping uh, costs there that that would lead instead of going from Spain to the U.S. Uh, I mean, maybe they were in uh, Mexico and they they still had their Spain address, but but from Spain to the U.S. would be expensive. It'll be like thirty bucks. Yeah, I would guess. But from Mexico, would be like if it's a it's a, if it's like a record like this, it's probably like ten bucks. Uh -huh. You know, well, so maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe this person shipped in bulk stuff from Spain to Mexico I, had a had a a colleague or something in Mexico, so they well, could save costs when they ship to the U.S. I do have, I do have, for example, I, I at my sister's house in Barcelona, I have some records there, and I I once sold one, and it was going to the to Europe as well, so I just um, I had my sister ship it from over there, and the person asked me, hey, why is your account on a Mexican address and you shipped it from Europe? And I just told him, well, the, 
oh. I had the record over there, you know. Uh, it, th this is fascinating discussion, but I want to know how I get that thirty-two thousand dollars. Mm. Hey, what hey, Wesley, Wesley. Hello. <laughs> I, I sent it to you, Johnny. I don't know if you saw it. I think oh, I wrote it. Yeah, I, I sent you an email. All right. Well, I, I, have stuff. I have all this stuff if you want to, like, uh, uh, just to, like, uh, have a good uh, shipping uh, experience. Hey, or, can I, someone I come up on screen and spin their head around and bomb it, please? <laughs> I, I don't have any uh, emails from you, Johnny. Oh, I, I just sent it to you. So oh, there, there you go, Johnny Got L. It. There you yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you have you paper, can send, right? You can, you you can send, yeah, you can send a re 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 response. And, uh, hey, um, respond can, can someone come up here and show some music that would bring Satan <laughs> and to the stream? Yeah, I have I have Satan this music. You want Fiddle tunes, it? Rob. Fiddle tunes will bring Satan up. All right, let me, let me show some Satan this I do have some. Oh. <laughs> so how hey, uh, Wesley, see mind? how calm and cool and collected Jose is about finding his Satan music. Well, this is this is not like a hundred percent Satanist, but I guess the first one I got here. Okay, the litany. The litany. This is the litanies of Satan. You okay. know. That's fantastic. Now, folks, we hit the three-hour mark. I gotta have. I gotta end the show very abruptly because tomorrow, uh, I mean, in one hour time, I gotta be on camera interviewing with the Truther community over at the following. I'll get it one last time. Copy this down. This is where you're gonna find me. Yeah. Over at Jesse at the Missing. If you're interested in watching, hang it out. It'll be a live stream, and uh, I'll be there in one hour's time, starting at ten o'clock. 906 so even less than an hour i'll be on and then before we do that one more time let's hit the number one song that's taken the nation by storm <laughs> i call my 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 Where? my 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 or to fall like bend in half or to fall bend in half my 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 Will you be or to fall? Bend in half or to fall? Bend in half. Hello? 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 Are you good? Hello? 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 So what know. a show we've had. And again, one last time, Rachel will be soon here. Link to her live stream over there. I'll be uh, Jesse's guest. He's just coming mm -hmm. off a hot interview with Naomi Wolf, followed by your very own Rachel's Ghost. Uh, hopefully, a few of you will make it over there just, and just uh, a, lend your support. Go ahead, Shadi. Just a quick thing. Yeah. Maybe that's why he didn't see me on Facebook. Because maybe he's too big now of a star that we're us peasants. Sorry, are... I, sorry it's <laughs> not going to do you any good being bitter about Renee's uh, stardom and his <laughs> meteoric rise into fame. Uh, it just comes off looking very poorly indeed, Johnny. We love you, but let's you have to face facts. Renee's in a whole different level now. Oh, Hi, Renee. everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Watch me on the missing link. I'll be there in an hour's time. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>